Oh, there we are. I didn't mean to, <laughs> I didn't mean to go to this scene. Let's whoop. Whoa, look at you there. Where am I? <laughs> is I just <laughs> let's let's fix that. <laughs> there we are. We're prepared and stuff. <laughs> Good yeah, evening, everyone. Go. Good evening. How's it going? It is going. <laughs> uh, you're like you look. You look dressed up today. Oh well. <laughs> so. On, uh, on, on, uh, Monday, you know, uh, la last week I, I was saying I had to wake up early on Monday. I, I, I had an appointment at the dermatologist, just mm -hmm. regular exam. Um, but I've had, I've, I, I had had like an itchy spot on my neck for a month and a half. And like he wanted to do a biopsy on it. It was nothing indicative of any. <laughs> condition to worry about but yeah. uh like I, i've never had stitches before but like you probably can't see it on stream eh, maybe if i move my head a little bit there's like two stitches there where where you i don't know there, there was a lot of blood on the bandage when i took it off <laughs> mm. <laughs> but it's, it's itchy so i've been i've been i mean it's actually a little more comfortable with <laughs> the the reason was I had had like I, I I've been like having this like unzipped with the bigger collar you know to give me a wider neck to like keep stuff oh, off of I it see. so it's less itchy but like since you know I don't want to look like that on stream I'm going to keep it <laughs> zip, zipped up I've I've actually been I've actually been some days while I've just been here by myself you know working on stuff I've actually been wearing like totally button up. <laughs> uh, shirts and just like leaving it open like like toad been walking around the house like toad <laughs> <laughs> well you know, but I'm not subjecting you all to that on street yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man so this, this should be an interesting little show tonight uh, some some stuff going on you know for those the people that don't know uh, I live in Cincinnati, well, like technically, like right across the river from Cincinnati, so it's it's been an exciting couple of weeks here, and uh, you know I'm happy to see that it's not a blowout. I haven't been watching too closely because uh, I'm I'm the kind of person if I if I watch sports like it's not it's not very it's rarely that I really focus on it, mm -hmm. but I feel as though I jinx it when I watch, <laughs> so I just kind of like come and go, like you know when they in the uh, the um the the last game where they were like down at halftime by a bunch, you know, I stopped watching it at halftime. And then, you know, then they uh they came back and, and won. So I'll be kinda watching and kind of not. So hopefully I, I won't, I won't, I won't ruin be that. watching and I don't care who wins in case. I know, anybody, I know, I know, that. I know anybody, that you don't. Case, I, I just say that to assure our viewers. <laughs> yeah. But, but you know, like it's just it's pretty cool that, you know, like I've never really like lived someplace that has won a Super Bowl, you know, like Really? Well, I got you know, like I I guess the Giants won when I was there, but I was like not when I lived in New York, but I didn't really I wasn't even paying attention like at all during that time just because like, I just didn't like the giants at all because uh, they, they beat the bills in the 92 super bowl, which is like, I thought was, it was so close. Mm. And uh, I think for the longest time it was considered to be like one of the best super bowls ever, hmm. if not the best. Wow. Uh, I don't know if it's, it, it's still considered one of the best, but I don't know. I always had something against the, <laughs> against the Giants because of that. Well, should we... Yeah. Uh, should oh, was we... it 91? Yeah. I, I always think about it because, you know, they were the... Uh... Yeah, it would have been 91 then. Yeah. So why don't, why don't we switch on over here? Yeah. So you want to <clears throat> you wanna tell people about, like, where you, what happened with this and why you're going to be trying this? Well... Or do you want me to? Yacht Club emailed us. Uh, they when did they launch this Kickstarter? Was it last week or was it the week before? Uh, I think it's a week before. 
Yeah. Um, this is, you know, Yacht, Yacht Club likes to spend a long time on the games they make. And, uh, yeah. you know, Shovel Knight came out forever ago. And they continue <laughs> to release lots of new content for it over the years. And, you know, so this is like finally their, like, next true full, like, successor or follow-up to Shovel Knight. Uh, which yeah. is kind of crazy. I mean, that was definitely going for an NES Plus aesthetic, and this is going for a Game Boy Color Plus aesthetic, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you can you can play with a PlayStation 5 controller, and for whatever reason, uh, I, I think this is just demo purposes. You hit the L2 button, and it plays the opening again. So I don't know. I'll just let people see the <laughs> opening, even though there, you know, there's not like any story set up or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, uh there there was a uh, five dollars from uh, dr cat jail official whoa <laughs> saying last week's stream got me to uh, get a retro tank 5x i didn't think i would so soon but here we are in other words keep up the awesome streams <laughs> well thank you thank you yeah that was i thought I had a lot of fun last week just messing around with that you you, you uh missed a yo yo yoshio just before okay. that yeah too. yeah okay i mean i have I always have to read his in the uh, in the in the Streamlabs list. Um, there were there was also two dollars from Yoshi Yoshi was saying it's not Sunday. Confused screaming, it is, it is. But you know what, my my kids have off of, have off of school tomorrow because uh-huh. you know, like depending on whatever happens today, I think they decided just like people wouldn't want to go to school. R- you mean like, like they just canceled school because of local? Excitement. I mean, I, I, they, I don't think they would say that specifically, but I think that that is the reason why. That's, that's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, but really, again, like last week's stream was a lot of fun. It was just kind of fun to screw around with the uh, the retro tank, and you know, I think that like the day after he released another one that allowed a lot of allowed you to do like 4K, like 4K 30 or 4K 20, yeah, 24, oh, 24 frames per second. Yeah. <laughs> and uh like that's that's funny he said there's no real reason to ever use that but it's just kind of kind of gives you a taste of what a 4k scaler would look like what it could look like yeah you, yeah yeah I, I definitely like i'm i'd be curious to maybe do something with that someday i don't know yeah i mean i i hope that he doesn't completely remove these from future uh firmwares depending on what he always does. roll like, back yeah. to them yeah, but it would be cool to just have it like as a kind of like under its own little menu, like a like experimental menu that yeah. you know that maybe you could make it visible or hide it depending on what you you know like how viable it is for you, like on and whatever screen you're using. Um, there's also two dollars from from Gaming Blows saying Happy Sunday, guys. Try I like the the, the shirt unzipped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I think he appreciates that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see this. Yeah, um, I, I have not played beyond just like I've just tinkered around the first two screens to make sure it was working right. You know, this is this is a Steam. This is you know we're able to access this through Steam. You know, I don't think I finished saying like you know Yacht Club reached out to us via email. So the specifically the the emailer said my. My my coworker said I should email you or, or I should reach out to you, and I'm thinking I wonder who it was. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who it was, um, and Oops. I wonder if it ever has anything to do with the old uh, shovel knight how to beat video. Oh yeah, did did they see that? I forgot. I forget. Oh, for sure they did. Yeah, I guess they. I mean, for the longest it. time that was our most successful video. Yeah, that's that's funny to think about. Um. So, I mean, obviously they've like <clears throat> studied Link's Awakening DX like super close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, 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 I haven't read all the details on the uh, on the Kickstarter page, but they, uh, you know, they, they comment that, you know, they're staying true to uh, Game Boy Color uh, color limitations. Oh, interesting. Which basically means you have two colors because there's four colors but almost always one of those is transparency and one of those is black 
So like Mina here is just kind of this like off white plus red, you know? Mm -hmm. And like that, uh, that lock I just opened had like brown, black and gray, but since it was just a square, it didn't need transparency. Right. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're definitely doing it pretty legit. So you, if you hold the jump button, you like go underground and like she moves faster underground. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this is, this is now the furthest I, I played into this. I was just tinkering around. <laughs> I, I, you know, like I say, I don't, I don't, I don't, this is, this is right now a potato of a computer too. So if anything yeah, goes well, wrong, I, mean, I would blame the computer. <laughs> it's, it's not emulating anything. I mean, it's like they're using their own engine. Yeah. So it should run with, with little to no problems. Oh, okay. So I guess, I guess this like tile work is like signifying there's like, can you go underneath? A path underneath it. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I wonder if there's people that are are disappointed that it's not like a uh, like a size like a platformer slash I don't know like Shovel Knight was so many different things that uh, I wonder if there's anybody that's disappointed. But I feel like after spending so long with Shovel Knight, they definitely wanted to do something. Oh yeah, different. I mean, I you know? I mean, I I'm definitely in favor of this direction. I mean, I. I mean, I haven't. I mean, obviously, Link's Awakening is one of the most popular games ever made, but I've never seen something that really tries to kind of expand on that quite as closely as this. Although, I believe there are like there's like leveling up mechanics and yeah, and, and it's got to it's like got to have them R RPGs. Yeah, it's it's definitely going for like <laughs> I'm a, just gonna call it like all stats and everything. You know, you know, like <laughs> you gotta have them RPGs because you gotta have them RPGs. <laughs> You know, my son like says, you know what my favorite gun is? I'm like, what is it? He's like, an RPG. And I'm like, that's, well, that's a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a gun, it's a rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you got you to put them them RPGs in there. Every single game has got to have some, 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 some of them RPGs. Uh, there was... Uh, well, I just lost it here. There was uh, one dollar from uh, Yo Yo Yoshi was saying it's Monday 1 a.m. in the UK. Since this is a this is a uh, GBC stream, what are your favorite GBC games? And do you think that the GBC had better looking games than the NES, despite less powerful hardware? Or the DX hacks really show off the hardware. Um. So that's that's definitely a question for you because well, you know I, mean, I didn't even have a Game Boy Color. I mean, for I, a long I, time. I have to admit, like I, I can't. I, I kind of feel like the Game Boy Color is a little overrated in terms of like its exclusive library. I don't think it's all that. I, I'm hearing myself echo a little bit, by the way. Oh, um, sorry about that. But I like I, it's it's got some notable exclusives for sure. You know, obviously mm -hmm. Shantae. Um, uh, but. Yeah, and then of course there's like the the Zelda Oracle games, which I don't like as much as Link's Awakening, but I do love the aesthetic of of the the Game Boy Color. Um, but I, I just I I think that just the standard Game Boy library is much stronger uh, mm. overall. But like in terms of exclusives, you know, one that I think is really overlooked, and I only played it for the first time a few years ago, is, is Resident Evil Gaiden is actually like pretty legit. Like it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 one, might, that might be my favorite too, right? exclusive. Um, although Sh Shantae would be close, but the difference there is like, I think the Shantae sequels are better than the original Shantae. And yeah. like Resident Evil Gaiden, there's really nothing else quite like it. It's like definitely kind of a unique experience on the, on the system. Yeah. I got to say like kind of as a, as a side note, you know, you mentioning Shantae makes me think about, as we've been working on this Mr. Uh, video, you know, we've been able to, you know, as we've been f figuring stuff out and just th seeing what works and what doesn't, you know, you found out that if you play Shantae in the, uh, in the Game Boy Color or Game Boy uh, 
core, it doesn't. There's no way to unlock the uh, the expanded color palette when you're playing on a Game Boy Advance, right? There wasn't. Like, but then, but you were able to say like, "Hey, this isn't there," and then the next release had it had it put in. Yeah. <laughs> it's been kind of neat seeing certain things that that we've noticed and then mentioning it and then it getting fixed. Mostly it's just me added. being dumb asking for things that I expected to be there. <laughs> it's, yeah. And then it's just like, oh, I guess no one thought of that. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, what did you say about it? You said, you know, like, sometimes well, it's, it's, it's hard for, like, developers to, to think of, to see certain things because they're more focused on... They're more focused on just making it work. Yeah. You know, that... You know, I, I my, my understanding is that developers, like, in general, don't like, like, UI design and stuff like that. Like, mm. programmers, like, they, they're, they're not so much into that. Right. But, it, you know, it's, it's definitely been neat seeing that stuff. Um... I wonder how long this is, this this demo. Is, well, I, I looked is, on YouTube. I mean, I didn't watch anything, but I... You looked it up uh, on how long to beat. <laughs> well, I looked on YouTube. There was, uh, you know, there, there were... Oops. Uh-oh. There were a couple of people who had done this uh, as well um, on his YouTube videos. And uh, it looked like there were like 30 to 40 minutes. In terms of those videos, I don't know if they were, like, edited down in any way. Yeah. So I guess it, it looks like this is likely to have a Shovel Knight, uh, a, a similar, you know, like a world Dark type Souls thing. type mechanic to Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah. See, I just I died there, so I my, my stuff is there. Right. I explained a little bit about that in the... And the demo manual. Whoops. Uh, Timothy Kim says, I take issue with that as a system programmer that likes doing UI stuff. Well, there you go. Uh, you you are uh, you're out there doing good good things, then. <laughs> can I, like, go under? No. I wonder how I can get to that treasure chest now that I've, like, destroyed the floor there. Whoops. Yeah, the the Mister video is is progressing along. It is. It's it's uh, it's tough. Uh, it's yeah. uh, you know it's going to be some long nights. Uh, like I like this is by no means a promise, but I really really want to come out like the last day of the month. <laughs> like that's that's my goal. But I don't know. Well, we're gonna we're, we'll see. We, we will see what happens. You never know. You never know. We might surprise ourselves. Well, there's nothing else to do here. We'll see. Um. Now, something I noticed is that when I was testing this out earlier, by the way, I have my computer monitor. Since, again, like I said, this is a bit of a potato computer. Uh, it's mm -hmm. uh, I set it to 720p because when I brought it up, it was initially just in a window that... I had it set for 1080p and it was in a window that looked like it was probably 720p. So I'm pretty sure they're targeting 720p with this. I don't know what like the base resolution that's making up the map is. I don't know if it's actually like 144p, like vertically. I don't know, but it looks like yeah. they're scaling it for 1080p, uh, which yeah, you can do a five X scale of, uh, of, uh, 14 or what not 44 uh, 144p you can do a 5x scale of that to get to 720p um so that would be interesting if they're doing that um there's the key. you know i didn't realize that until until i got the switch version that the shovel knight has a a you can you can shrink it to its like real original size oh really well, yeah. so so this like so obviously they're targeting like the Switch gamepad, and then with like the more powerful con like I'm sure on Switch it'll probably be a 720p like like interpolated scale to 1080p I would imagine dot, mm -hmm. and then for the other consoles it'd just be you know 3x from 720p to 
4K is what how I imagine that they'll handle. Unfortunately, though, a LCD grid is not going to be possible. Like I contemplated, like, ooh, could I like try outputting to like the RetroTink 5X and do some sort of fun filter or something? But uh, like Shovel Knight, I don't know how if you'll be able to tell on the stream, but like I, I can move just like a pixel at a time, so it does not adhere to a pixel grid. Which uh, okay. I yeah. think is probably a intentional creative choice. I'm thinking like that's just to keep like the scrolling like ultra smooth looking. Uh, personally, if I were in charge, I would say let's adhere to a pixel grid. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I I I, I could I could I could respect uh, the decision here. Yeah. Uh, I I don't believe that the Mr. Video is going to be anywhere close to our Magnum Opus. I think that that's probably Analog Frontiers. But um, it's, it's, but it's, 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 Mr. Video, it's going to, it's going to be probably our longest video. Yeah. It's, it's not a marathon, which, you know, like we've been talking about it lately, like that, that marathon video, it, you know, for, it's doing weird. That, that one got a little bit more blowback than the previous ones. Or the previous two had, uh, maybe maybe the previous three had more blowback since than any since the first one, and it just like it just g keeps on going. That's what those things do. And you know there was a comment that I guess kind of put it in perspective. Said you know I have seen this video playing in not one, not two, but three separate video game stores. That's that's crazy. So I think that maybe that's where. Uh, a lot of those videos do their numbers. Is these stores maybe just like put it on their screens? Like I mean, all day long. I, is that really a, is stores? Oh, totally. Really that is to totally big a thing. time to numbers. I mean, I'm sure, I know they're doing it, but like I just don't know if it's like right. Well, well yes. But is that really I big mean, numbers? Just, uh, I don't know, but it, I think that that oh, is no, like no that's some of it. What does that mean? You know? It, it explained what sparks means in the in the manual, but I don't I don't remember what it what it said. But you know, it'll be. I I mean, it's just going to be a lot of different stuff in a video. And you you've been pretty heavily into like you've had a lot of freelance work going on these past couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, I, I was not able which is, to Which is definitely slowed you down and Yeah. And you know, like I I wasn't able to get like deep into editing until like just the other day. Like I, I had yeah. had like the basic layout done, but like yeah, it's it's been been tough finding the time. Yeah. Um and you know, I I'm I'm a bit ahead of you in in terms of like the stuff that I have. <laughs> so this is like, explaining in, in, in that my my hardest parts are like almost done. This and is, this is explaining the manual is the, the bone up. You, you level up. It's called bone up. <laughs> <laughs> almost feels like a like a Zelda two esque sort of sort of system where you're like picking one thing. <laughs> the end of 2019 where I, I mentioned working on a Mr. Video. Yeah, but that was... I'm glad that we didn't do it then. Yeah. But, because, yeah. We, we, I mean, it would have been easier probably then. But, you know, there's just like so much stuff has, has changed since then. And, you know, things are already getting added like after we've recorded stuff. Yeah, you know, like, I, like was, I, I'm saving like, the like video section for last, right? Uh, because like I already know that there's stuff that's got to change there. Yeah. Luckily, and for, you know, for, like very way. similar for me. You know, I was working. I've had footage from this video that I like shot. You know, it's it'll be funny to seeing to see if anybody mentions the the dates that change like in the the OS. Like, like the main menu because some of them are from like 
Some of them say February, but it's like February last year, uh, 2021. That's funny. And some of them say like uh, October, which is October of last year. And, you know, like some of that stuff that I recorded where it's like certain using, uh, say, like the Mr. Fusion. They'll do the same thing. But since I recorded that uh, version 2.4 has come out and like all my footage was recorded with 2.3. And you only see that in the like the file menu. Like when I'm like loading that, I'm like, I'm just I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it because, you know, like two point I could do all that with to 2.4 and then 2.5 could come out like the next day. Yeah. So I'm just not I'm they all do the same thing and I think that that's that's why I'm not like stressing over it. So yeah, it's it'll be it'll be interesting to see if if anybody notices like the difference of dates. Wait, did oh wow, did uh the Bengals just, just scored a touchdown. Oh, the Bengals are winning. Oh. Here we go. Up by three. Well, it's soon to be four. So I think uh, I, I, I'm getting the feeling the the. Ooh, look at this. This is attack power by one level. Do, do I have to like specifically equip? Things? Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, there's five dollars from Jonathan Hinson. Thank you. Saying, uh, "Evening, fellas. Try. What do you think of this game so far? It's pretty cool." Uh, it, it, like it, it's actually more difficult than I was expecting for I like it, it said in the in the instruction materials that like the the game balance is going to be different um like like this is like a it's early, still a year off yeah well old, like maybe like two years off like the estimated delivery on the Kickstarter is December 2023 yeah but they'll probably do what they did with shovel Knight well they will uh do like they'll have the rest come out like afterwards uh, but sure. i mean like i i i think they're playing to take their time with this um, yeah i i i i think the game itself may not come out until then uh but like it definitely seems like this this dive mechanic uh like while in combat like learning to use that like it's it's kind of a different sort of dodge you know yeah. Uh, I think I think learning to do that right will be key. Um, I wonder if that was inspired by Mole Mania, the whole like digging underground. Oh, maybe. Oh, I I was walking in here. I thought this guy was going to be an be an NPC, not a not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see he has a life bar. Uh, there was one dollar from Gen X eighty nine. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, if you had to choose, would you rather play PS1 games on a consumer CRT tr Sony Trinitron? Wait, would you rather play PS1 games on a consumer CRT? Uh, consumer CRT Sony Trinitron on a PlayStation 2 co via component cables or on a PS1 via RGB SCART? Uh, I mean, I... Whatever, whatever you had. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess I'm not, I'm not understanding yet. all of the fully understanding all of the tiers here. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, Ooh, I have a sub weapon. On, on either a uh, oh, consumer yeah. CRT, on a Sony Trinitron via uh, on a PS2 on a Sony Trinitron via component cables, or on a PS1 via RGB SCART. Um, I mean, I. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I like RGB for PS1. I think a lot. Of, I mean, the thing is, like, dithering doesn't blend quite to the extent that it does on like Genesis. But if 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 you're on like if you're like in like composite or S video on a consumer CRT, and it would have to be a consumer CRT. Um, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, see, I can't do that. See, so it, it's interesting because it, it's like it's always like one or two things you can do, but you can't do. You don't have access to all of them. It's very, very Zelda two. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, like I mean, I guess RGB on a on a PVM for for me, but I. Uh, 
I mean, I, 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 I guess I like them all. A lot of people, I guess, are kind of picky about PS1 because they don't want to see dithering. But I think they often don't realize that like the trade-off of dithering is, uh, like the band, it's like banding. color banding. So like, yeah. in, in, and so like way, a really good example of that I, I found was uh, just even on the memory cards uh, screen mm, of like, yeah. like PS1, yeah. like, like the non-small PS1, where it's just that that dithered background and you move that you take that off because you can do that with the mr core you mm -hmm. can just like toggle it on and off so you can see what it would look like without the dithering and it looks without the dithering it looks like like garbage <laughs> <laughs> yeah like the like di i am not bothered by dithering i mean obviously like the ideal is to not have it but i do think in most cases Dithering is preferable to color banding. It depends on the game's art style, though. There are definitely games where turning it off is for the better, for sure. Um, yeah. But uh, I think on the whole, dithering is it, it serves a purpose, and it it is not necessarily have to be blended, you know, smudged by a composite and a consumer CRT, in my opinion. Yeah. But you know, so I like you know, PS One digital HDMI mod. You know, I'm, I'm more than happy to play that and look at the dithering all day long. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Uh, there was $5 from Tender Brew. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, uh, hey, guys, haven't been able to uh, catch a stream in a while. But when I saw you guys are streaming Mina, which I wholeheartedly backed, I had to jump in. Yeah, I mean. It, I, I, I have to confess, I have not backed it yet. Like, you know, I the. I the physical tier is. The physical tier is. It's pricey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like if, if, if there was like, I'm a, not sure if they've gone on record and like explain like what the, like it, why it's like that much slightly more. Well, I mean, expensive. it includes all of the digital rewards, but the thing is like, I think most people who want the physical, like wouldn't like, there should like, be a, a physical tier without the, digital without the rewards. digital rewards. That would be fine. Like, the, like, I guess I could see like, if you wanted to like go half and half with a friend or something and you wanted the physical and your friend won, the digital like that would yeah. be that would make a lot of sense but like like I, I mean it's i don't think they confirmed it necessarily but i mean you know that this is going to be available physically to get even if you don't back it i mean I, I, i'm not like trying to discourage like backing or something if if the tiers that are there do make sense to you but i wish like if there was like a 50 dollar or 60 dollar physical tier i i would have backed that day one but like a hundred dollars, it's like I would consider a hundred dollars if it came with a physical like soundtrack CD too. But like if there was just a physical tier that had none of the digital rewards, then right. I, I would have done day one. Because I mean, Yacht, Yacht Club has my money, whether it's it's in the Kickstarter or later when it actually releases. Like I'm, I am going. I like I'm. I, I would buy, you know, any of any of their major games that they release. You know, I mean, I, I, I love Shovel Knight. I love I love their stuff. I love I love their their style and their 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 respect for the, you know, the retro mechanics and stuff. Yeah. You know, and they, they, I mean, they, they, they will have you my money. Shovel that's for sure. How many different versions of, of Shovel Knight do you have? You know what? To be honest, I think I only have the Wii U version. I really should get the Switch version someday just to have the I got, whole thing I, on physical. So I have, I have the digital Wii U version. I have the digital Wii U, Wii U and physical Wii U, but I do think that's all I have, actually. I have, I have the Vita version, and I have the uh, the Switch version. I mean... You know, I, somebody said that uh, Cyber Shadow hasn't gotten a digital release right, but yet, they, but they I'm didn't sure that's only a matter of time. Well, and I, I like, wanted, like, I looked it up at one point, and I think the developer was just like, well, you know, it, it, you know, I, I'm just so exhausted. Like, we, we plan for this. I think they said they plan for it, but it's just like they they need to do it later. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I have the 3DS version as well, I guess. I think when it came out, I was... I feel like it came out right around Thanksgiving of that year or whatever the year that it came out and I was going to be visiting my mom so I was like I really want to play this so I ended up just buying the 3DS version the, the music by the way like 
is is like definitely has. I mean, it's, it's Jake Kaufman. Yeah, uh, and it, it definitely. Well, I feel like hasn't really done. A I lot know. Of I mean, it's it's good. It's good to see him coming back because you know it, it sort of sort of seemed like he was having a, a tough time there for a while, maybe. So it's I, I'm I'm really happy to see him working on this, you know. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, and it like you know I mean, like the the style is definitely of uh, of shovel knight esque. It's kind of like this is more of like a gothic fantasy than shovel knight is, but yeah. um, it still like has a lot of very similar sounds to it. I'm not sure if it's using Fama Tracker or um because they, they said in the Kickstarter like they were, you know, going to, you know, kind of for a Game Boy Plus. So I'm not I'm not sure like if if it's using uh uh just straight up Fama Tracker, if it's different more Game Boy oriented sounds. Like I don't have like a, a working idea off the top of my head of like like what is authentic Game Boy sound? I mean it's not quite NES, but it's it's similar ish. Oops. No, yeah, this is definitely more challenging for the demo than I was expecting. I mean, they said that this area, this area is not going to be balanced exactly the same way in the final game. I don't know if it'll be harder, easier. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly in favor of a, of a good, good challenge. Um, there was uh, five dollars from uh, from John the Don. Thank you. Thank you. Saying, hey, guys, I'm ready to pull the trigger on an analog pocket. Yeah. I was going to get the white one, but someone said that the white bezel was ex was distracting. Uh, You know, I could definitely see that being the case. I mean, I felt like I thought about that a little bit when I was when we were doing the video. Um, Yeah, but... I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I don't think I, it's I feel like deal white would not bother. I mean, I don't think. Why, I mean, if you think about an original Game Boy. I mean, it's gray. <laughs> it's a guy yeah, gray yeah. bezel. Um, I don't really understand the health recovery system. Like something to do with that yellow vial. Uh, <laughs> recovers, like you. And then you can like use the yellow stuff later but anyway like I, I i feel like that would not particularly bother me if i had a white system um but uh the uh like like if it was color a colored bezel though like like that's like kind of the thing that bugs me the most about um uh the uh switch light like like those really thick colored bezels like I, I don't mind thick bezels but like on switch light the way that they're like the same color as the system like looks really weird to me mm -hmm. I don't know uh, I'd have to try out a, a black one to to know a difference like, and you probably have to try well, out I mean, the white you know, one I, I got I got a you know I I got a bubble under the screen protector on, on mine, of course, uh, mm -hmm. which I was worried that would bother me. But like, you know, you're, you can't even see it in like normal playing conditions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's a, oops, there's something there. Uh, there's also uh, $5 from Mike Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Saying the more I see of this game, the more I'm glad I backed it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like I'm, yeah. like I'm, I, I'm impressed that it seems to be even even as much as it looks like, uh, oops, Link's uh, Link's Awakening. Like it's it's it seems to be more of an action game, like sort of a challenging action game. So it's it's an interesting sort of. Uh, uh, can can you, you burrow under in between them? You can, but like the timing of it is just. Uh, it's tricky to get. Whoops! I died at the same place because I was ex I was experimenting. Um, oh no! No 
MS parks are made. Okay, so Mina is using Trillo Tracker, an MSX-based tracker for Konami SCC, and AY3A910PSG. Oh. So there's your answer. That 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 A Y whatever. AY three eight nine one zero. Is that, that is that is that the same series of numbers? This that Pong console thing on Mister or that's a it's a Y like three thousand. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I forget. I I was I was messing I'll around tell you one with thing, though. that yesterday. You need to like know exactly that number. You're gonna have to recite it tomorrow without any any help. You need to tell me what, what that I don't is. even say it out loud in the video. I just say Pong yeah. consoles. <laughs> oh, it was interesting though because I, I used some of Evan's uh, Evan Amos's book. Uh, right, for, right. Because that's, that's a lot of hardware that you, we don't have on hand. Yeah, I just did... thought I just thought it was interesting to to look at that way because like it felt oops, it felt more I guess more historical, you know? Yeah. It was kind of funny though. You used a shot, a, a like a. A B-roll shot that you shot like, yeah, like like seven years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, oh, oh gosh, it, it, well, it's not quite that long ago, but it's it is. Oh, it, it, no. Well, it's it's. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't get back to where it spark diminished. Oh no! Oh no! Where Did am I? Send you I? back to the beginning of the. I'm in, I'm in I'm in a lab now. Oh. Uh, oh, what's this? But yeah, I, I mean, you got to use this shot from when you sent your ColecoVision off to get modded. Yes. Which did, and, not, did not have a happy ending, by the way. And did not have a happy ending. I mean, you shot all this stuff because you wanted that for an, an eventual video. I thought, I thought video. like, oh, this is going to come back. The RGB mod's going to be great. Uh, and, you know, so I'm going to do an RGB video on the ColecoVision. And the RGB mod was junk. And I never did the video, but I shot some footage of like what the video output looked like, which was unusable uh, yeah. over the RF. Like it was just so degraded. So that, that, that was kind of neat. You know, it, it was a really good looking slider shot. And, and we were like, how did I do that? Sliders. And you could... Uh, take the break on it, you know, to like lock it in place and like slightly like lessen it a little bit so that it would slide at a consistent speed if it was at the right angle. And uh, as is, <laughs> it was a good looking shot, even though it was only 24, 24 FPS, right? Ooh, I think I, it would have been. Yeah, it was, it was like, I thought about like using warp stabilizer on it to like make it, to, yeah. like, fake it to 30. Uh, but that would then, I, I would have to zoom in just a tiny bit, and it's like you know, it's it's not 4K anyway. So I'm gonna try that increase maximum burrow time. That sounds good. Increase that maximum burrow. So what 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 is this spark? What's this? Is that spark mandrill? Like do I? What does, what does this do for me? Whoa, look at all them gems. Do I, do I want to be carrying I these? Like I, that's the whole well, I think point these of the are the bones. Back. These are like bone fragments. Look at the bones. So I think that just, so I guess I like somehow, uh, I think at some point, like some of what I collected goes back here. And like is safe from being gotten rid of, but I can take it out if it's like, oh, this would get me a lot closer to leveling up or something. <laughs> oh, I, oh, can I just like, oh, I could come back here anytime I want. So I guess I could like store. Oh no, is there no, I guess there's no, there's I guess no there's no point. like, I can't put it back in. I can come, I guess I, anytime I'm at a checkpoint, I guess I can go back to the lab. Mm-hmm. Oops. 
if I go back um, down here, then I rest in the hot spring. I come back up. I assume the monster will be respawned. Yes. Okay. Just check. There's there's a lot of moments too where it's just kind of atmospheric sounds. Like that's what it's got right now. Just like some Game Boy esque atmospherics, and they're actually pretty effective. Yeah. Uh, did anybody in the chat watch the uh, the finale of the the Book of Boba Fett? I mean, I don't want to talk about anything about the I finale. Haven't, I haven't seen any of like the, I know. I just I want to. It's Disney not. It has stars. nothing to do with the 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 story or anything like that, right? <laughs> oh, oh like the the, the like, Mike Micah thing. What? What do you mean? Are you talking about the? Uh, the old uh, vi handheld video game thing or something? No, 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 no. The Book of Boba Fett is the Disney Plus show. No, no, no. Okay, so but in the last episode, there was like a... I saw something going around. There's a guy holding this like like 1980 like handheld gaming device. Like you, I guess you only see the back of it. And then uh -huh. Mike Micah tweeted... That, like, I would literally have not known what this is if I hadn't just bought it. Like, look up Mike Micah's Twitter and you'll see it. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up. It's fun. It's funny. Well, <laughs> so the theme music is kind of a play on the Mandalorian theme music, right? And it has, like, this kind of this added chants and stuff to it. And each <laughs> each episode, like, the, the, the ending theme... <laughs> was like <laughs> was gradually building right and then in the finale and i thought i was i thought that i was the only person that thought this was like so stupid and eventually it, the the words of the songs that are say is the same boba fett it's like bo 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 fett <laughs> really <laughs> and i was dying i was like i was lose i was going crazy about it right i was laughing so hard and then Joe Redifer like posted about it on twitter and he's like you know i thought it was pretty good until like the words started saying boba fett and I, then i started then i thought it was pretty bad any, anyways, I, I messaged him, I messaged Joe, I think it was yesterday, and I said, you know, I've been walking around my house all day long, all day long going, bo, 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 fat. and I was like, so I guess they win, <laughs> you know, like, after all that, yeah, and I'm still, it, like, it I'm, I'm singing funny, the song. It's, yeah, it's pretty funny, Sandy. <laughs> it, wow, was, wow, it was, it wow. was. Definitely, I was I was thought it was so hilarious though when I first heard it. I was like, I can't I can't believe this is real. I, I can't I can't I can't either. It's that is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go under, can you just like stay in place, or do you automatically? No, go you like so I I I don't really know what the difference is. It's definitely a little longer, but it's still pretty short. Like I, I equipped a relic thing that increases my burrow time but like like so you can let go of the button and come up anytime you want but you can only stay under for like a second or two mm -hmm. okay so that makes sense but it's like it's almost like a like sort of a different sort of dodge mechanic like i i think mastering that is like going to be the key to the game yeah for sure Oh, there's some like bo 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 Like that's literally the entire words. It's like it says the word Boba Fett to like the rhythm of the song over and over again. That like what what were they thinking? <laughs> I I don't know, but I it was it was <laughs> it's, I mean, hilarious. It, it's, and like and not in a good way. No. Which is hilarious. It is it is hilarious at their expense. Yes. <laughs> and you know, I, I was I I just wonder if if it clicked with anybody like, man, this is this is pretty <laughs> stupid. But we're gonna do it because like why not? <laughs> why not do it, right? 
it, it, yes, it's pretty funny, Sandy. It, <laughs> it's pretty funny. We all agree. <laughs> uh, I think that this this demo is only available to like people that they choose. They've sent it to. Yeah, they've sent it to sure like press happen. and stuff. I, I bet I bet they'll release a version of this like to backers later on. I I, I yeah. bet they'll release some 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 kind of something. I mean, it's I, like in in some ways, I I, I mean, I, you know, I, I still think it's going to be a pretty long ways away, but I think it might be further along than Shovel Knight was at this point. Right. Because like I I, I kind of think that the screenshots they showed in the I don't even remember if they had like a like did they even have like video of the game running when they did the Kickstarter? Uh, I don't remember, but I remember I seeing know. screenshots. The statue without a head. Almost like ice without, without a face. Head. Um But I definitely think like statue there was a lot when I looked head. when I went back and looked at the uh the uh original screenshots from Shelvin and I after the game came out, I was like, oh yeah, like I, I, I think some of the like the levels changed considerably. Look at mm -hmm. it. this one's is looking at me. Oh, we got a we got a Fanto here. Uh, so you know, I I told you that that uh, that my daughter got Animal Crossing for Christmas, mm. and I was kind of playing in her town. And I decided to get my own copy of the game. Oh yeah. So I moved out of the town, and I've been I've been playing like most days. Yeah. And it's it's fun. Like I, I like it because you don't have to like really spend a lot of time in it. No. Although I I feel as though each day, you know, they're they're adding more and more stuff to take up more and more time. I mean, I, I am not very far. Like I am just to the point where I had to set up three houses for people to move yeah. into. Yeah. So it's still pretty early, uh, but it's, it's been fun playing it with my daughter because, you know, she gets her system out and then like she just comes down to the basement and we play for like an hour. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. it's pretty cool. It's, it's so fun. You, you can it's, play locally. Like, yeah, I, I've been to her town and, you know, she's been to mine, but there's, there's not a whole lot. You know, I just so, built so, my first bridge. So you, and stuff like you that. started your character in her town? Yes, and, and you were able to out. then leave and make your own town. Yes, I was That's able cool. to, yeah, to, to move into into my own town on my own system. I uh, assume you got a physical copy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's definitely pretty cool. But you know, she 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 was liking it, but I think that it wasn't quite. It didn't have it didn't have its hooks in her yet until mm -hmm. I think today. Oh yeah, is when it really kind of clicked with her, I'm, and she was playing all day and, and trying to do all this stuff, and it's like, oh, but I gotta, you know, like I, I, this person, like I'm waiting for this person to set up, and I need to wait until tomorrow. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's... it's it's definitely slow for the first few days. No, and but, then... but I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like the fact that that is what what you know. It just like. You know, it's like more real that way, and mm -hmm. you don't feel like it's got to be this, this huge time sink. It's like it's an enjoyable thing. <laughs> the, 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 the keys are called keers because they're gears. It's a keer. <laughs> Here's the war. Uh, there was uh, uh, five dollars from Mega X Six. Thank you. Saying, what was your guys' thoughts on a Nintendo Direct? I enjoyed it. It was. I'm looking forward great. to Fire Emblem Three Hopes, Chrono Cross, and uh, what did they say? What did they call it? Live Alive. I always call it, call it Live Alive. I, I, I was pretty sure that it was li Live Alive, but I've always I, I I didn't always say Live Alive, but at one point I was like, wait, that would sound so much better. So I started calling it Live Alive. It's easier to say. It's a I lot. Think. I mean, for especially in English native speaker it's a lot easier to say yeah um, but i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be live alive uh, but yeah like that like what an awesome thing to happen yeah there, there's a lot of good stuff um 
a uh, lot of things to be excited about. Um, the Chrono Cross looks bad. It, 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 does not, it does not look great, but, but, but apparently the, uh, there is, there... I guess I've, I've heard that it has a lot of options for like it has original options. But I, I saw a screenshot of that and it looked like the text was still kind of weird looking and the character art was still a little, the character art is closer to the original, but it's still like smooth. Uh, mm. But the backgrounds and stuff you can have at least pixelated. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it makes me think of how it's, I, I feel it's still a, kind of a travesty that the Grandia HD versions, of the versions yeah. of the first one, they never made it so you could turn off the filter. Yeah. They, they, they like, they completely stuck by their guns the whole time. Yeah. And it's, it was never patched in or anything. They just and, and like John, to, like, John and Adi, like, talk to them about it, E3. Like, it, I don't think it was anyone, you know, it was just whoever was running the booth. I don't, I don't think it was necessarily like, you know, anyone who had any influence on the product. Yeah. Uh, but they were just like, you, you need to have an option for this. Like, but if it's not smooth, then it's, it won't be HD. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, let me try to explain yeah. this. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Chris V is saying the way that they set it in the direct is correct by the box. So, I mean, yeah, that, that, I, like, mean I, 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 li live I, I might keep saying live alive though. It's just, it sounds better. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 I can't believe that's, that's, you know, co you know, finally coming out and like this, like they, they have had three HD 2D games like they must have several teams like working on this. And in fact, they've they've got like a, an emblem. Like if you look at the, uh, I looked took another look at a. It might even be a, a different or expanded trailer. Um. Uh, they have like an emblem that says like HD 2D, and then it's like 1.2. So like, I it, it's like it's Unreal 4, but uh. I, I wonder if they are um, sort of like, you know, continuing to like make, expand the technology in a way, I guess, yeah. or their their version of that engine, even though it is just unreal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Like, uh, uh, oh, no, oh no. I hope that they, that they release uh, the um, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters, like on on a console. Yeah, I I, I will buy every single one. I, I, I'd, they, I'd rather have HD two D. Like I would that. buy every single one of them as individual releases, probably. Yeah, I mean I I, I mean I I mean they're charging I think fifty dollars for Live Alive. Like I yeah I I would pay that. I, I would pay that for every single. Would you pay thirty dollars for each Pixel remaster? Thirty for each. Yeah, if they were thirty dollars physical. Physical. If they were physical, I'd give it. I I I, I definitely would. What if they were fifty dollars each? Would you do it? Probably. I mean, for Square one, Square for Enix one, is six. like you know their their pricing structures can be pretty. Yeah. Not ideal. <laughs> but I know that the six is supposed to be out really soon, and. You know, that's, I'm really interested to see how it looks, you know, based on the screenshots that I've seen, it looks really cool. And it's been a long time since I played through that. You know, it's probably been the longest since I play, played it. Um, I would say because, you know, I did the marathon. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. I did the marathon. No sparks remaining. I, I did the marathon and then sometime after that, I played the PSP version of four. I think that's the most recent time I've played four. Uh, and then I did, uh, I think it was 20, 2012. 12 or no, it was probably 2013. I did, um, uh, I did a four job fiesta. 
is the only right. time I've done four job fiesta actually. You know, uh, Cheesemeister says it best. Says said, uh, "I appreciate that Square Enix keeping their uh, catalog titles available, but the quality bar is all over the map. It is some of them, all some of them are state of the art, some are garbage, and it's true. It's true. I mean, you look at those Dragon Quest one, two, and three. Like those were, weren't great, and then like there was a wasn't there there was like a Chrono Trigger re-release." That was a long time ago. It was, like, it was bad, and then they ended up having to, like, basically it. redo it, right? Yeah. And then they patch it and just, like, redo a whole bunch of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's so interesting how uh, how spotty that stuff is with them. Yeah. Like, I mean, you've got, like, something that goes as extreme as, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, <laughs> you know? Then you have those yeah. Dragon Quest maps. I'm glad three is getting an HD 2D though, because uh, it, it deserves much better than that. <laughs> uh, I, I tried the uh, the demo for, I mean, very very briefly for um, uh, Triangle Strategy, and it's really low resolution. Um, mm -hmm. But it's uh, like it, like it seems to scale. But I, I'm pretty sure it's lower resolution than Octopath Traveler was on Switch. Um, but it sort of scales better, I think. Like the like the, the sprites have less sort of warbling as the camera mm -hmm. turns. Plus, it's um, I think it's 60 frames per second. So that helps. I, I I mean I thought in the direct I thought Live Alive looked pretty good. I don't know if uh, I don't I don't know if it's you know how that's going to represent what the final version looks like necessarily. But yeah. Oh, I do have a a keyer. That's right. I can get wherever that sparkly over there is. Uh. <laughs> You know, like the other big one was, you know, all the Kirby stuff that was shown. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> and, like, I'm glad that people are like making a like a meme out of Kirby stretching over stuff. But you, you like, seem I, uncomfortable. I feel like it's, it's like really, really creepy. <laughs> I was, immediately I was like, oh, like that's like it's kind of gross like, and, and creepy. Like it's like a, you know, he just like becomes like a skin suit for everything. It's I mean, I, I like you aren't the only one who reacted that way. Like I've definitely seen that that take elsewhere, uh, it, which is, it's interesting. What was, what? Um, so wait, what is this attack? Oh, I've, okay, so I was like some sort of. Oh, I like that they can, I appreciate it when games let enemies be able to kill themselves or like damage themselves or damage each other. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what happened to him exactly if he like hit the spikes or what. Yeah, the, the Kirby flesh car. Yeah, I mean, but, it's like like literally just like a skin suit. And but it's, it's I it, mean, it took me a minute to kind of to figure out what was going on with the with the bottom of like, oh, why is like the bottom of it still the car? I'm like, oh, because that's like the part that wouldn't fit. <laughs> you know, it's like he couldn't he couldn't eat the whole thing. Uh, I mean, it's, know, it's I, I, I it's was gross looking. I'm sorry. It's, it's real gross. <laughs> I was I was thinking, you know, it's like it was about this time last year that the internet was like freaking out over Lady Dimitrescu. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk, 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 Kirby is is the Lady Dimitrescu of, of 2022. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just all over the internet now. Yeah. Um, but what else was shown? Uh, I, I I I need to play. Um, I need to play. Um, you, you know what you I, need to play is that one hit death Metroid Dread mode because I know that that's exactly the kind oh, of challenge. Oh yeah, for sure. You're you're looking for. <laughs> um, I, uh, I I need to play Fire Emblem Three Houses before I can play the the Warriors game. Oh. 
Wow, what what else was? There? I mean, there was there was definitely plenty of good stuff. I, I called that live alive though, didn't I? Like pretty early in the trailer while we well, were watching with John and I. I mean, I I I called uh, the the front mission one remake like oh yeah immediately. I was wait a second, like like I you know you remember the the name the the Wanzers Wanzers. I'm like wait, is that isn't that the name of the mechs in front mission? But I mean, like, considering I've barely played Live Alive, I was surprised I uh, I caught yeah. I caught on. Um, what else was there? Bring bring up a list. I feel like there was some. There was there was definitely a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Are, are you are you caught up on super chats before you do that? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. There is uh, there's two dollars Canadian, twelve minutes ago from uh from Matthew Roy. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, asking, uh, do you guys watch Game Center CX? Catch you on. <laughs> uh, I I I know what it is. I haven't really watched it. So yeah, I mean, I I I played. Uh, I I don't have it anymore, but I I did play the game. Um. Huh, you can't. Can you jump over that? Okay, you can jump over that. What is this commercial? These kids are. <laughs> what is this? It's <laughs> it's a commercial for water, canned water, <laughs> but the uh, the name the name of the water is called Liquid Death. <laughs> what? It's like I guess you can actually buy it. Cans of water called Liquid Death. Okay. I mean, it, it makes me want to buy it. I don't, I don't get and it, it. But it showed all these kids like having a party, like drinking it, like they're like having like a, like a kegger. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like one kid was like passed out at the counter. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable. That's it's you'll, real. You'll, you'll, have to it. you'll have to link me to it tomorrow. Yeah. And then, then the kid's mom's come in, mom comes in and, and like is drinking it, and she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Get, so getting it's, wild it's with water, funny. huh? Yeah, liquid death. I mean, if you want to get people to <laughs> drink more water, maybe that's the way to do it. Should I? Let's see. Let's, let's try equipping this thing that automatically summon a little spider to create webs. Ah, and walk Mega X6 pits. says, I just learned about the series called Captain and the Game Master. It's watchable on YouTube. Is it like the whole series is on there? I watched that when it was on. Yeah, I've, I've, I've only the only episode seen, I even liked is the one where they went to Mega that. Man's world. Have you seen all of Captain N? No, I, I've only seen like an episode or two. Oh, well, the, there's the the most memorable episode for me was when they go to to Mega Man's world. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, and... Mega Man from that series is like pretty famous for sure. In a bad way, but th but they go to Mega Man's world and uh, it like plays like the the, the Cut Man music, like during the whole like action sequence. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's uh, five dollars from from Crusher Bad sixty four. Thank you. Thank Saying you. no joke, I have Liquid Death in my Xbox mini fridge. I bought a few cases of it at Sam's Club. Good water, by the way. <laughs> Good water. You know, I was I was at I was at Target yesterday and they had no less than six Xbox mini fridges and I I was really? seriously thinking about it. I I I really want one, but it's just like I I, I don't need one. Like no, I would no. do, I would do nothing. Just, I would do, me. It would save me from going upstairs. But I I you know. I thought I, for some reason I imagined you had a fridge downstairs. I mean, it's it's surprising that I don't. Uh, and there, 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 
there have been people who have said, you know, like, why don't you put a, a fridge down here? And I mean, because I want to have like some reason to go upstairs. <laughs> if I if I don't if I don't have to go upstairs to like get something like fill up my water or do get anything, like there there'd be less and less of a chance of me like going up. <laughs> Except for you know to see my family. Liquid Death, everyone's like all about like everyone like I guess Liquid Death is, is pretty well known. Uh yes, oh yeah, there's there's the, the Klonoa remake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's also gonna be on um <laughs> uh PS4 and PS5 at least. Right. But it's it's I guess it's gonna it, it's gonna be available first on the Switch, I guess. Oh okay. I yeah well that's With, good news because uh that, that gives me a little confidence that it, it might actually get a uh, uh, get a PlayStation physical um, yeah because I was I was worried about that because it was uh, I, I was able to find a I guess either Asian or Japanese uh, physical but it was only a listing for the switch version so if, that would make sense though if that was was coming later but you never know yeah. i mean sometimes there's only a switch physical like there was for uh yeah well i, I know that yeah, there is a... and you know like i'll probably end up getting the switch version and the ps5 version if there's like two different two different ones and you know uh, uh, uh brutes mcgee says i'm just glad the clonoa one remaster is based on the ps1 version and not the wii port and yeah that was kind of the thing that i was the like the most surprised about you know, it, it it has the smaller characters of the original. I, I mean, I I thought, I mean, I had not played Klonoa one at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, that I played through it, and I, I don't have the the Wii version anymore anyway. But I I was under the impression it was pretty faithful for the most part. It was, it was, but I think that having like a smaller character that's with the, the giant collar it just it, it feels more faithful to the original version uh but i'm excited for it and i wonder maybe it's maybe it's just me but i think that doing the the cut scenes of the original in real time i feel like it it wasn't as good and i'm sure that this will you know do it all in real time as well but i just i love those love the fmv in the in the original so i mean i'm i'm definitely excited about that one and you know i wasn't expecting a full-on Kind of, I guess, remake of, of 2 either. I was just expecting it to be more of an HD port. But it seems like it's a full-on remake. And I, th you like the second one more than you like the first one, don't you? Mm, no. I don't, I don't think that's true. Oh. For some reason, I thought you you did, but I mean, I I I, I think I liked two more than you did, perhaps, because you yeah. were like you were kind of let down by two originally. Well, I, I loved two, but it was I think at the time, I I it just didn't resonate. It, it, like in the same way that, uh, I th I didn't like that it used a lot of the re like, reused a lot lot of the same levels. Did it? And just, you know, kind of reskin them, in a way. From the original, to, like uh, environmental hazards and stuff like that. Well, look at look at those bones. So, look so wait, are you saying it reused levels from the original? No, 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 no. The second one did. Where you go back and uh, oh, like like that oh. arc level where now it's like all like kind of poisonous. Yeah, but I mean it's. Like 
I mean, like, I, yeah. I, I, I actually, it, actually, I actually I was like mechanics. Like, like uh, ukulele in the Impossible Layer did that really well. Mm-hmm. Where, like, there's, like, a, a really different version of a level that you revisit. Like, it just... I, I actually like stuff like that because I feel like it... it cr- creates familiarity with the world but mm-hmm. um uh in a you know in a in a in a way that's not entirely redundant right I, it in, took me a little longer than i thought it would in 2001 i was i was annoyed by that oh that was it so an hour yeah, that's a that's a good little good little taste. I mean, I, this is probably going to be a pretty lengthy game. I mean, I, I I would suspect. I mean, considering it's more you know, more of a, a Zelda esque, even though it's, it seems more action oriented. Like, you know, it's definitely combining some things, but you know, Zelda is the most obvious inspiration. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to own this one way or the other, either, whether via the Kickstarter or, uh, you know, when, when a physical copy surely appears at launch that anyone can buy, surely. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'll, I'll take another look over the, the Kickstarter uh, backer uh, uh, tiers, though. But I, I just I, I'm going to have a hard time justifying it, though. The hundred dollars for the hundred dollars. Yeah, I, that's that's. I, I wonder if they will alter that can, at all. Can can they add like they like? Yeah, yeah, that's possible to do. Like, I mean, I wonder if they'll worry about making people mad, though. like people who already got the hundred dollar physical. Well, people like, can probably change. They you can, can change. I guess they could change, but yeah. like, like if you just made like a fifty, like I would even go for sixty dollars. I would go for hundred. Yeah. Is just a bridge too far though, for yeah. for a for for what i would want um but like i I, you know like even if this game goes for like 40 dollars in the store i'd be happy to do 50 up front just to support the project you know or Mm -hmm. 60 or something but like 100 is that's that's too far uh so people let people let us know if they add some or if yacht club is watching let us know if you add that because i i will 100 percent back it if there's just like I, I don't I don't need any other rewards. I just want I just want a physical copy of the game on a platform of my choosing. That's all. That's all <laughs> I want. That's all I want. Uh, and I would like to support your project. So, but I'll, I, I'm going to own this either way eventually. Yes. Unless for some reason you just like don't do physical copies available to anyone else, which I don't think you would do. But uh, but yeah. So uh, there was. Are you going to switch games now? Uh, well, go go ahead. Where you going? Uh, there was ten dollars from Keep It Classy Tech. Well, Thank you. You keep it classy. Thank too. you. Uh, watch saying uh, wish watch you guys watched you guys <laughs> watched you guys for years would be great to guest stream with you sometime. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm an ISF calibrator, TV reviewer, and longtime gamer. Friends with the guys at uh, Stone Age Gamer would be fun to talk about BVMs. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, send us a message. That would be that would be a lot of fun. We we don't. We don't have guests on it like nearly as much as we used to. I don't know if, like, I just think that we, you know, we we were doing it so consistently. Yeah, we we, we I guess we just kind of make it kind of a special every now and then thing. I think generally, yeah. the audience seems to just prefer for whatever reason. I wouldn't mm-hmm. have I wouldn't have expected this, but they just seem to like our dynamic is for for the the usual average yeah. stream. But you know, guests are guests are fun to do as a sometimes a sometimes thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, send us a, a DM on Twitter or via email or whatever. For sure. Thank you. Um. So you're you're gonna be playing playing Wendy every which way, awesome. right? So this was. Did you get this? before it got really expensive why does it blow up like that sometimes like it's well because it was it was because i was changing the resolutions oh okay and i had to like i had to uh i had to close it to get it to do right um this game has been expensive for a while um 
I, I actually last year, cause I, I'd wanted this game for a while, for a while. Um, I got, um, I imported it from Germany. <laughs> it's, oh, okay. It's, it's a little bit cheaper in Europe. I got, I got at some point last year, it's a little bit cheaper in Europe than here. So, uh, that's, that's what I did indeed. Why is that? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Let me fix this. I've got, I've got range. So mismatch. the advanced world is that if you play it in a Game Boy Advance? Right. I I think that's just. Um, I think that's just. Yeah. There we go. I need to fix that. Um. I think it's just like a set of levels. Like it's not really the main game. Like, so I'm just going to do the normal, the normal, I guess. Uh, I, I've not played, I've, I've really not played any of this other than just testing it out, you know, recording footage, stuff like that. But yeah, I've, I've wanted this game for a while. It's a way forward game. Uh, you know, so it's got like super good. I mean, I almost wonder if anyone that Yacht Club worked on this because. Well, know, that's why I thought you picked it. Well, I, I it, that did cross my mind, but the main reason I picked it was I was just thinking like, well, what's a, like I just wanted to keep stick with something that was like aesthetically related. Yeah. I'm playing on a, a GameCube with Game Boy interface uh, via a Carby right now, actually. Because I, we were talking earlier, like, we recently were having trouble with audio capture on the GBA consoleizer. Right. Whereas we had that fixed before. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what changed. But yeah, so, it, yeah, so I, this I'm is actually sure only either. outputting, I guess it's outputting 480p from the car. I don't know how GBI HF works uh, on the car, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it does. Like if it does, oh, you it, can run. It's, it's almost like uh, Metal Storm. Metal Storm, yeah. Yep. Not exactly. That's not what I would kind of expect it to be like. Yeah. Well, it's. See, it's, it's got that parallax action in the background there. Yeah. It's a, it's a it's a it's a really neat little game. Yeah. Oh, I. Uh, I didn't so I didn't tell you that after. Uh, I guess I had told you that I was going to do it, but I didn't know if I told you the results. Um. After last week's stream, I ended up, I mean, I guess, like, the next day, I ended up hacking my, my Wii U. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, like, super, super easy. It is so easy to do now. And, uh, you know, I spent the next couple of days, like, ripping all my games. Oh, that, yeah? that took a little while, but I, I was kind of amazed at the, how small my... Uh, Wii U library is and how many games in there like I have on a, like for the switch yeah I mean I don't I don't have nearly as many first for Wii U as I do for you know other Nintendo systems yeah that's for sure I mean I, I had no real I had no idea that what what, what had been happening with the with the Wii U was like it was like so thoroughly blown open that people are like literally downloading games directly from Nintendo's store. Yeah. And like, they don't like even care. Nintendo's like not doing anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> like it is it's crazy to me that it is like that blown open. So I didn't I, I figured I I wonder what getting all the if getting all the stars does anything? I'm sure they're all collectible. It's just that I I missed one in the previous in the first level. Yeah, I bought an external uh, SSD. I, well, actually, no, I I had an external SSD that I got for like a freelance job that I did like years, like probably three years ago. That was like the coolest thing about like some of the freelance work that I was doing is that every time that they would send me material, they would send it like on a hard drive or like then they started sending it on SSDs and like they just never ask for it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I have like this huge stack of like portable hard drives 
like one terabyte, two terabyte hard drives, and then several like 500 gig like portable SSDs that I've just you know I take all the material off of them and I just like have consolidated them onto like one or two drives, and then I just use them. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, 500 gigs was, I think after I ripped all my games, I still had like 300 gigs left or something wow. like that. I mean, I, I mean, Nintendo games in general, I would suspect are pretty space efficient. Yeah. Yeah, I, the, I guess the only uh, really big ones. I mean, there's a couple of, like, 12 to 14 gig, and I guess, like, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I think that was, like, 19 gigs or something like that. And I, I think that they're, they are identical to the versions you can purchase from the store. Like, when you rip it off your disc, like... Oh, really? Because I went on to, uh, to see if I could, like, download those, um, the extra like installable files for Xenoblade and it's like oh you have the the game fully installed on your system this won't help it at all oh interesting so I mean it, it straight up like the text that the entire game is on there already and that was like what I ripped from my disc right <laughs> Red Wolfie's like bo 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 I've got to hear this <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> like, did they so think, was... like, did they, like, are they so disillusioned as to, no, like, I don't think so. Like, why I, I people think like that they Boba knew Fett? it was ridiculous. I mean, they, they gotta know it was ridiculous. Boba Boba Fett. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Egan's saying, like, this was the same exploit to let people grab stuff off the 3DS eShop. E they just never patched it out of the Wii U. That's, that's crazy. It is crazy. It, it, uh, unfortunately, it might hasten the time, uh, you know, to which, you know, the Wii U shop is, is taken off. Oh, man. I'm I, sure. I'm sure. I, I, uh, I almost but that had stuff a, is all out there now. I, I almost had a scare yesterday. I mean, I think it would be okay because I'm pretty sure you can still actually connect to the the Wii Shop and download stuff you own. You just can't buy anything. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure you can. Wait, on the what? On the Wii. I, I think you can still download stuff. Oh, really? I think. I'm not positive. Oh, I, I have no idea. I think. But regardless, I uh, I, I, I had, had a scary... Oh, look at this. I'm on a broom. Um, I, I, I had a had a bit of a, bit of a scare yesterday. I, you know, I, I was... Um, uh, I, you know, I, I put a clip... This is, this is more of a, an idea suggestion. This isn't actually something you can do in Mister, but I was showing in the video how BitTrip Beat works on the Wii. Oh, right, yeah. And uh, I turn on my Wii and I go to the SD card and it's like nothing, you, there is no SD card. And I'm like, oh, why? Started sweating bullets. And I open it up the flap and there there was nothing in there. I'm like, well, where is it? And I think, oh no. Cause I had had this two gig SD card. And I, I honestly couldn't tell you if that's enough for all the games I had on there, because most of those games are pretty small. I, I'm pretty sure that two gig SD card was used at some point for the, the Wii, uh, the Wii shop. Right. But so it was sitting just like in my other SD cards that I use for like video and stuff. And I had like had it like at some point, like sitting on my B roll table for a long time. And like, I was like, Oh, 
I think I like was just like, huh, what's this? And tossed it in there. And I thought like, oh, I'd probably like used it to like put like something on for an EverDrive or do something with it. And I thought, oh my gosh, did I like accidentally like leave my Wii SD card out and just forget what it was and oh and override yeah. it. And I put it in the system and it's like, nothing's on this. And then I come down here and check the uh, the Wii that has the Wii Dual in it. Mm-hmm. And my SD card was in it because I had been using it to ferry uh, some saves from one system to the other. Oh, okay. So that was it. But then I forgot, like, I don't even own BitTrip Beat on... Um, I, I don't even own BitTrip Beat on my original Wii anymore because, you know, when I added some stuff because of the Wii U transfer. Right. And I yeah. I only repurchased certain things on the original Wii. Mostly stuff that I thought would be useful for video purposes. But what I do have is the physical bit trip complete. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's the only version of it that I got. I never got the the like the limited run versions of the the bit trip. And then they call it the bit trip. Oh yeah. Well, I never got that because, like, it's it's so perfect on the Wii. Yeah. Like it 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 is very specific. Like I I I, I guess maybe the the PlayStation versions probably have some gyro in them, but like the the shape of the Wii remote is just perfect for how uh, uh, for how it controls. Yeah. Like it's. It's oh. Um, there was uh, two dollars from Mega X Six saying bo 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 bo. O'Reilly Auto Boba Fett. <laughs> I, I I assume that's like a take. You're, you're probably thinking of it in a way that like I can't I can't connect it. But I'm thinking of like the O'Reilly Auto parts. Ow! If you've ever heard, I probably, I, I don't know if that's like a, a thing I've, that's something around here. I've, I've heard that. Maybe. There, O'Reilly Auto Parts are around here. Okay. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, there's also $5 from Tender Brew. Uh, thank you. Mm. Saying, uh, man, this Wendy game looks great. Just got some birthday cash, and I've been uh, looking to, to drop some of the extra cash on some Game Boy Color games. Well, well. You probably end up putting it all <laughs> well like i said like I, I ordered my copy from germany and even with shipping it was less than the american copy so so i, I learned this from henry clark uh, i don't know if he's he's in the chat tonight um i guess like some guy in florida was just like buying up every copy of this game that came on ebay and just like controlling the price of it so he was like intentionally driving up the price of this game and that's that and that's what's happened that's what's happened yeah so the so i guess he wasn't bothering getting you know european copies and uh so i i ordered a copy from germany and it's 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 in english i don't think there's any localizations to it at all it's just you know it's got the uh it's got the uh, the round seal of quality instead of the <laughs> oval one. Um, so the round seal of quality is it? Is it like blue? No, it's it's gold. Because there was somebody local. <laughs> I think I said this sent this to John Linneman. Somebody was like like locally selling a like a box copy no. of Mike Tyson's punch punch out. Uh, in the box, like not like graded or anything, but was trying to sell it for for four hundred and fifty five dollars. Wow. Okay. And they said, well, I, "I gotta let me bring it up here because it's just like it's basically like I know what I got." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, it says uh, it's in good good condition overall. The cart is in very good condition. It has been tested and works great. The manual is in good condition and free of writing. The box is a is in good structural condition with both tabs intact. Everything is 100% authentic. Taking offers on it, please do not contact me with low offer. 
It is ungraded, but in very good condition. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's $425. But it has like a blue round seal of quality on it. I I do not know what that is. It's it's blue. I mean, there's just no way. I'm <laughs> I was like I I can't even like that, that that can't be like the going price. It, it and it's not even sealed. It's just it's just and it's not graded like or anything. It's, it's just, just like not, hey, it's just not a box. It, you know, it's like I mean, would the bo the box is in is in structurally good shape, but you look at it, and it's kind of like a oh. oh man, good vibe collecting sent me a link to an auction on eBay. Uh this past week it's so stupid so there's this uh there's this box uh on gamecube that has i think it's it's either well, i i think it's sonic heroes and super monkey ball one and like it says greatest it's a yellow box it says greatest hits on the box and inside are greatest hits versions of Sonic Heroes and Super Monkey Ball. And like the current price on it was like over $3,000. <laughs> and like, this is like greatest hits versions. Let me repeat, greatest hits versions of Sonic Heroes and Super Monkey Ball. But they came in this box and it wasn't even sealed. It was like not, it even had damage. The box had damage and was like already at 3,000. Like, he said there's only like, like 30 confirmed known copies of this somehow. Oh, weird. Like, I don't know if, like, I don't know. Like, surely more were made, but like, like, I maybe that's just like all that is like known to exist in like the collector scene or something. But like, like you can have a complete GameCube collection and not own the, you do not need to own this to have a complete GameCube collection. You could have a complete GameCube collection and not have the greatest hits versions even. You could have a yeah. better complete GameCube collection and not spend over three thousand dollars on this. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Like is that is supremely baffling to me. I just I just pasted a link to the uh, to my screen grab from that of that Mike Tyson's punch out, and part of the URL URL is uh, B zero B A. Boba. Boba 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder if I I wonder if that's online. Let me, can somebody in. I, I think I should. I'll try and find it. Why? Like, like, I, like, I, I'm having a hard like knowing nothing about the series. Like, I, I can't imagine it's called why it's called book the book of Boba Fett. It makes me th it makes me think of the book of Pooh. Like, <laughs> what wasn't what what wasn't that the name of like the live was that the live action Pooh, Winnie the Pooh called the book of Pooh? I think something is called the book of Pooh. Oh, so there's a version that has. There's a version that has the entire build up of it. Oh. Well, <laughs> you need to get me to listen to this after the stream. It, it, rem find the part. It, it, it reminds me of something though uh you know so i only finally finally just realized that the purpose of the stars is to upgrade your attack that's all it is like you get more stars and you have a, a stronger attack Oh, 
What, what was it that I? What was it that I, 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 I told, I told you a while back, I think, like, what you say, like, you found yourself, like, saying it to yourself throughout the house. Uh, I, I, um, there was something recently where, like, the next day I was just, like, incessantly saying something to myself that was, like, just some fun, like, stupid but fun phrase, like, from... Oh, I, I don't remember. What it was. What was it? It was a few weeks ago. I just, like, couldn't stop saying it to myself because it was just fun to say. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send you this to the specific time code, okay? Okay. For anybody who wants to hear it, I'll post it in the in the chat here. Yeah, we, you need me to send it to you. I mean, we 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 sh we sh yeah, send it to me on Discord. We we shouldn't. Uh, whoa. We should, no, I mean there's. We shouldn't. We shouldn't play it back on uh, on the stream. <laughs> right. Actually, not quite sure what the penalty for getting hit in this game is. Am I reduced time? I have I have a life count, so you can definitely die. <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> Okay, so there's more than five stars. There can actually be a lot more than five stars. One. <clears throat> the, like the, the... Everyone in the comments loves it. I bet. Are they, are they like laughing about it? Like, and they love it in a like it's particularly awful kind of way. Like, I mean, that's gotta be it. These uh, these, these like rocks with like the cyclops eye is like peak way forward like monster design. <laughs> oh, I, I guess getting hit reduces my. Maybe if I get hit when I have no stars, I, I lose a life? I mean, maybe... Maybe I'm just like, this is that moment where I understand when somebody comments on a video and says, am I the only one that feels this way? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, am I the only one that, you know thinks that this song is like not great <laughs> i don't know it, it, that it's hilariously like bad i it sounds like it's gotta be hilariously bad <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's funny it, it sounds like it's really funny i, I can't wait to listen to it <laughs> Um, but yeah, so somebody was saying, oh, that, that box for the Mike Tyson is, is well used. So I wonder if, if they sold it. Um, <laughs> that, I mean, that's how, how it goes. I mean, that, that's, that's how they get you. They hit you with this song, you feel like it's like not great, and then you catch yourself just singing it. I mean, it's like that's been like my entire. Yeah, you know, like, I guess when did it come out on Wednesday? So it was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I was probably singing it. <laughs> Oh, look at that slowdown. 
I feel like that's something you don't see on the war color that much. Maybe. Oh, that's right. Uh, Red Wolfie is, is saying uh, Jurassic is selling the DE10 Nanos. Uh, right now, if you're interested in getting a mister, you might want to grab one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, our good friend Sean Quinn was able yep. to get one. Yeah. Yeah. The, the shipping somehow. is expensive, though. Be warned. Yeah. Like, so after go, shipping... go into this expecting to spend, like, what? Like, 240 250 Yeah. Including shipping. Like, yeah. the, the shipping... Like, I, I was... This was before I knew that that they were shipping. I almost bought an extra one because I want to build a second mister. And I, I might, I might, I might do it. I mean, I'm definitely going to do it. Like, I just don't know how soon. Like, yeah, I, I don't have to have it now. <laughs> I was telling you before. Uh, so I was able to for my for my digital mister. Uh, I got one of the um, the purple aluminum cases from Mr. Add-ons. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you knew about, like, if that he did, like, each each run of, like, the aluminum cases, he's done, like, different colors. Oh, okay. Like, the first one, he did kind of, like, a gold one, so and then this time, he did, like, this purple, and it's kind of a cool-looking purple, mm -hmm. and, uh, like, we, we didn't realize, I think, until fairly recently that the, that the dual sense works great with, with the it's mister. It's very versatile. I mean, you can use it as a mouse without any fuss. Yeah. And um, I was like, you know, I, so I ordered one of those those purple dual sense control. You're going to use it exclusively with the mister, huh? Well, I probably won't use it exclusively with it, but as a companion for it. Yeah. And I didn't realize, like, as far as I can tell, the that purple controller, you can't. It's not being sold in stores. You can only order it directly from from Sony. Well, that was how I got my red one. Yeah, well, that's that's in stores, and like I've seen like the the light blue and the the pink one in stores already. But you know, if you try to go find the purple one in stores, then. Um, It's just like it's just not there. I mean, you can't you can't buy it. I don't know if that's something that is like why that's happening. But whoa! They should have called this um, Witch Storm. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be what? straight up like Metal Storm. Can yeah. you can you uh, change? polarity like in the air yeah oh cool yeah you just you just hit the direction and then hit the a button i i i, I could see i could see witch storm being like you know like a serious action game yeah like i mean it's like, like bullet witch or something like that yeah like uh it sounds sounds like so it sounds like it could be a subtitle for like a Bayonetta game. <laughs> yeah. Bayonetta 3, Witch Storm. <laughs> like I don't like I don't know that much about this character. I think this character like has some association with Casper the Ghost. Oh really? I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what that's what Zane's dad's saying. It's supposed to be Wendy from Casper the Friendly Ghost. There you go. Yep. For some reason, WayForward got to make a game based on this character. But I mean, it's 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 like it's very much a WayForward game. I mean, you can just yeah tell in every aspect. Uh. So I mean, my uh, my son and I have been like watching movies like on Friday night, and you know for like the longest time I was like, oh, you know, he, he's six, I or just turned seven, so I won't like like put too crazy of stuff on. But somewhere along the way, I'm like, oh, you know, I I guess like most like like PG-13 stuff is probably okay. <laughs> like I just <laughs> kind of switched over at some point. Oh. 
so on on this pr- past Friday, we watched uh, Independence Day. Uh huh. Like which... I, I, I would not like like it's been so long since I've seen that. Like I would not think that would be too intense for a kid. That you wouldn't think it would. Be? I wouldn't. I wouldn't think. Uh, so it wasn't, except for there's this one scene, like in a in a operating room, that's like pretty pretty freaky. Yeah. Which made me think about like how you that was wow. right after you I watched uh, Spider Man Two, like the original Spider Man Two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that has that that scene in the uh, in the operating room where it's like straight up Evil Dead. Yeah, it like like straight up like turns into like Evil Dead for you know for like two minutes. And when I watched that with my kids, like that that it kind of freaked them out. But there's <laughs> there's a very similar scene like that in uh, Independence Day, and it's like it's the way that it's uh, the way that the movement happens. I guess there's kind of like this kind of flashing light, mm-hmm. like it, it like a flickering light, which makes it kind of like creepy looking. But he like got under the covers and didn't want to want to know when it was. Up. <laughs> um, it's been so like it's 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 you know what though and like this is like a much, uh, like much discussed point about it, but it is like as time goes on, it just becomes more and more ridiculous that he like straight up like hacks into. The alien mothership, like with his like MacBook, <laughs> like and and the thing is, is like he wrote this, the virus to do it and hack in, in like an hour. <laughs> like it literally happens in like over the course of an hour, Wh- while drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so these uh these light bulbs, whenever they're on screen, they can make the. They make the they make gravity automatically flip in certain intervals. Um, I you know I <laughs> I don't think I have ever seen Independence Day not on VHS. <laughs> yeah, I well I think it like a maybe lot, like, TV. Maybe the Hold up really well, huh? especially like the model stuff. You know, like the actual like blowing up of all the buildings. Yeah, it's it's like a lot better looking than I remember it. Yeah. But the reason I think that I wanted to watch that is because like we had just seen the uh, the trailer for the third Jurassic World, and I was oh, like, okay, oh, yeah. you know, it just made me think of Jeff Goldblum. And <laughs> you know, I I didn't see the second one. What was it like Fallen Kingdom? I didn't see that one. Yeah, I, I, I I've seen both, and I I don't think either are particularly good. Yeah. Right, right, and you know I didn't think that the first one was particularly good. I mean the the first one is like amazing. Like I. I mean the original Jurassic Park. The yeah. yeah the original one is good, and just like the rest of them have just been like kind of like uh. Yeah, I I you know. watched. I I watched the. At some point in, twenty twenty. I want to say it was or no you know what it was it was after it was after drum and lens wedding because i caught like a bad cold or something there that was in 2019 and uh because i remember i was i was watching i was wa- watching them and i was like i was feeling pretty sick uh <laughs> and so I watched the two new ones and then like immediately went back and watched the first. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is... I mean, the first one is, is great. Uh, but, you know, the trailer, the trailer, like, you know, I, I am obviously like more interested in this one because it has like the original trio back. And I, I messaged you afterwards. It's like every time I, since I've been watching this trailer, it's like great to see these characters back. But I can't stop thinking about how, like, in in character, like, the characters themselves, like, not, like, the actors or anything yeah. like that, but, like, the characters, like, how annoyed they have to be at this point that things got this far. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. It's like, we told you over and over and over again, and, and stuff happened every single time. Yep. And you're still doing, like, like, how many times do we need to tell you? Yep. <laughs> like, we, we told you 25 years ago. 
Yeah. Not to do this. <laughs> uh, oh, the, the I, I, I thought I thought that like Dr. Grant was not doing a very good job of masking his New Zealand accent. Like he sounded weird to me. Yeah, well, I mean, those are the only parts of the trailer I was like, oh, this looks like something I want to see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I totally want to see it for, you know, just for those characters. But it, like, di di like it, it just feels like he, he just, like, forgot how to do an American accent. Like, it, it was off. Did, any, did anyone else feel that way? I, about, I didn't about? feel like that. Like, I, like, the more I, I, I watched it a second time, and I... I, I felt the same way again. I don't know. Maybe in, in the actual movie with, like, is it like the only thing he said was like, like, Ellie Sattler? I think that's the only thing he said in the trailer. Yeah, I guess. So maybe if I hear him say more things, it won't seem so weird. I don't know. It, it, something didn't sound quite right to me, though. Uh, Jeremy W says, asks if uh, does Michael Crichton still get royalties for all the new uh, Jurassic Park movies? I'm sure his estate does. I mean, he's been he's been dead a long time for a long time, yeah. But yeah, I and and uh, uh, Ian Malcolm he does say like you know why do they always have to go bigger? <laughs> and like that definitely shows some of the annoyance. Yeah, well, I mean but, that was like, but I, but um, I would just be like. That, At well, this point, I'd be like, like I will. I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> was was it like a big part of the plot of the first of the new movies? Like they they like they made like a bigger, meaner dinosaur that like never actually existed. Yeah, that's that is like the whole thing with those <laughs> with these movies that they have like. Uh, like genetically altered dinosaurs. Yeah. What, what's so funny is like kind of one of the like bad guys in these new movies is like this like really incidental like science. Like it's the scientist who uh, well, I, he, I think he's the one that says in the original one where he's just like when they're asking like what you know what is you know what is this and He's like, oh, it's a, you know, a velociraptor. They're like, you, you bred velociraptor. He just like says it really crash. They're like, oh, it's, it's a velociraptor. Yeah. And like, I, I'm pretty sure it's that science. Like, I, I, I don't think he appears at all later in the movie. It's like just during that hatching. Oh, you're scene. talking about that? Yeah, but he is like, he's like, like a main character. He's like all over it. Like it's the same actor and everything. But like, yeah. he's just a character that I like never would have thought like. Like oh like yeah let's let's bring back this one random scientist. <laughs> well he I mean he was like the the head scientist really. He was but it's just it's like I I did not until I was like until he was I, not mentioned again you know like right I, I mean like my, the, I, the original movie right it's just my point but, is like I did not make the connection at all. I didn't make the connection at all. Yeah. Until I mean, like I, after I the, the, the fact I'm like oh it's that like I never I just. Like it's just, it's just, uh, it, it's just a su surprising thing for them to reference. <laughs> like it, it kind of reminds me of how like the, the, the Marvel, uh, Disney Plus stuff. Like the, you know, they bring back like one or two of like the major characters from the movies and like you know build the story around them. But then like all of the other returning characters are like, like not even like the secondary characters. They're like the, the tertiary characters, you know? Yeah. But I guess it, it makes sense to do that. Though. Well, sure, I mean, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying like there's anything sense. wrong with it, but it just, it reminded me of that where it's like, it's like it's like oh yeah we're bringing back like like there there were, like the guy who like hijacks the 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 uh, the boat at the beginning of uh, um, Captain America and the Winter Soldier like yes they like make a big deal out of him like like you know being part of the plot in like the last episode of 
of Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I was just like, who's this guy? <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't, like, I know until after the fact, it's like, oh, it's, it's that guy. <laughs> like, it just, I did not, like, he did not make an impression at all. Like, I, I would not, like, same thing with, like, I, I just, like, did not catch on that, like, that guy, at first that guy was supposed to be, like, or not just supposed to be, I mean, it's the same actor, but he's, like, a major character in those Jurassic Park movies now. I don't know, it's just, it's, I mean, it's cool, it's, it's cool that they brought him back, but it's just, it's, like, I just did not make the connection without, like, explicitly reading it after the fact. Yeah. It, it gets you thinking, though, it seems like every series revival is, like, bringing back the original actors, like, what, what even is there left to do that with, you think? I mean, you know what's crazy is, like, by the time the fifth Indiana Jones movie comes out. It's like, it's going to be like almost as long since Indiana Jones four came out as like last crusade that and to four. No, is it really? It's, it's going to be pretty. I, th I, I was looking at it the other day. It's going to be pretty close. I think I, it's, I think it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like that was like what 2000 no i mean last it was what, crusade like... was in was 89 so it was like 15 years i guess was it 15 years when when did it when did when did indiana jones 4 come out i mean i'm not saying it's like i mean the, the, it's it's not 2008 2008, so, so like not what was it, 19 years? Yeah, and now this it's gonna been out in like, 2023. Yes, yeah, so, I mean it's like okay, I mean it's it's not like as long, years. but it's 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 a lot longer than it should be. Yeah, like, well, it's, it's, it's a it is 15 years, it's, and it's like it's a lot closer to to being that long than it should be, is what I'm saying. Oh, I died. Yeah. Did I have check? I don't know that I. I, I could only, uh, I've only watched Crystal Skull one time in the theater. I'm and, pretty like, sure I I've have seen it in it that box set. I've seen it twice. Like, like I, I, I had to like try to come to terms with my feelings on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was that was, it was that was like a difficult thing. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I was pretty decisive on it. Like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want it to be bad, you know. Like, it's the, like the groundhog at, in in the beginning. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want it to be bad though. Like, I mean, it's like. Well, of course not. I, but I it's mean, like I, 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 I wanted to watch it again because it's like, it's like you know, maybe it's maybe it's not that bad. I mean, I don't. But it is. Do you think that it, it is that bad? I mean, it's. It, I don't know. Like I, I, it's. It's something that like I it's I okay. don't. Okay, it's okay if it's that bad. It's I I, I don't I like put that much thought into it, mostly because I'm trying to not think too hard about how bad it actually is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it, the thing is like I don't have a problem with like the idea of them going in, like. No, no, like the idea behind it was totally fine. It's just the execution and like, yeah. You know, I mean, like, like, like I have no problem swing, with like swinging with the monkeys and stuff like that. Yeah, I like mean, the, the, the only really good part of the, I feel of the only really good part of the of Crystal Skull is like when they're going through the college campus on the motorcycle, because that's like, like it was just like a like a well staged action scene yeah. that didn't really seem to have too many effects in it. Someone I knew was an extra in that. So, oh really? Yeah. So, so it, a student went back when I worked at the college. She uh, she lived in the town where that was shot. Interesting. And I think you know she she mentioned that like oh yeah they were shooting Indiana Jones four <laughs> in my town. And I'm gonna be in it. Or I, I don't I don't, I mean who knows if she is even in the final cut. But you know. <laughs> but.
Um, but as Sarah says, I, I like Crystal Skull. I don't see much difference between it and Temple of Doom, and I I agree with you on that. But I, like, I, I don't. Uh, I mean, I mean, the, the minecart is just as unbelievable as like is a swinging with with uh, uh, with monkeys. I mean, yeah. You know the. I mean the the ending of it, like it, like I I have no problem with them going like a more sci-fi route because like that would be like the that would be the pop fiction of the time that that it was. Oh yeah, yeah. That it was I written. I, I have no problem with that. Oh, is this like a final boss or something? <laughs> um, I, I like can't move horizontally at all. I'm stuck on the left side. Like, I'm going to move up and down. I mean, could this possibly be the final boss? I don't know. I, I mean, don't, I mean, like the reason, one game. of the reasons, I mean, how long to beat made this sound pretty short, so I, that was one of the reasons I picked it. Huh. There's also a hard mode, though. I don't know if it's, like, different levels. I have no idea how to, oh, should I, oh, it, oh, I bet I know it. I bet I like get get the gravity to I bet I get to hit his head. I know I could flip gravity while I was. There we go. <laughs> Kyle McLean says I find it interesting that seeming that while seemingly the entire internet has spent the the past few years reevaluating the Star Wars prequels, I am yet to see anyone claim they love Crystal Skull. Hmm. Uh, I mean. Like, like the, the, the idea of that was fine, but, like, I feel like they saw too much, though, in the end, you know? Like, it was, like, the there was always something sort of mystical and strange happening at the end of, of Indiana Jones, but not, like, not quite on that scale, you know? Yeah. Like, it was, it was a little, it was a little too much. You know what's so weird about, like, I remember watching, like, you know, behind the scenes special features of it. And, like, I was genuinely surprised by how much of it was, like, shot in real locations. Because there are, there are so many scenes, like, you know, that car chase through the jungle. And uh, there's just so many shots that don't look real. And they were actually well, that, shot that on location. That was kind of the thing for me. They, they don't, but they were, like, I shot on location. But they before they feel the movie fake. came out, they were making a big deal about it, like, using tons of practical effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it, it, and, like, that whole, like, the whole car chase, I mean, that is why I like the, the motorcycle chase, mm -hmm. is because, you know, it felt real. Yeah. But, and, you know, like, the, the chases in the other movies, you know, they, that was, like, the best part, really. Yeah, but the, the, there's, the, like, the this, there's, like, this scenes. whole thing, though, where they're, like, like going through, uh, oh, I'm supposed to shoot him when he's stunned. <laughs> no wonder this is going on forever. Um, but like, like I, I saw like some behind the scenes stuff of them, like, you know, going, like shooting like in Hawaii or something that like jungle chase. And they probably added some stuff there in CG but like it it just it feels fake it doesn't look real Oops. yeah like it's just I don't know there's just I don't know if it's the color grading or, or what but there's just the, the movie just feels very inauthentic yeah, Alpha Omega Weapon says the difference between the Temple of Doom and Crystal Skull was Harrison Ford's qualification for Medicare <laughs> um you know I think that when I think about Harrison Ford, I feel as though there was a specific change in the way that he like felt as an actor in movies, like starting like with with the fugitive. I feel like the fugitive is like where like the way he acted where it's just like is like just like it's really like these really intense moments. And it, like I just feel like that's where the uh, the big the big change like in movies he was in like happened. Hmm. 
And and the fugitive is good. But, you know. I don't know. It's just I, I feel as though that's that's where it changed. I don't know. I did it. But it, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, wow! Look at that. Did you even have to continue? I died a couple of times, but just a couple. But I was, that was normal. There's a hard as well. I don't know if it's like actually like different levels or if it's just harder versions of the same levels. Well, I'll, I'll check out the advanced world after this, after the credits. Yeah. But see, I don't know. Uh, Bell Morte, 1979, says, I feel like we as adults can't appreciate movies like Crystal Skulls anymore. Uh, we have to have everything be realistic. I think we should just enjoy it for the cheesiness of it. And I mean, there's something to be said for like, that, I mean, but it's it's different from the originals, you know. It's it's a different vibe. I mean, I, I think there's a big difference between Temple of Doom and Crystal Skull. I mean, I like Temple of Doom. I mean, I like I don't I don't love Temple of Doom. I, 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 uh, I, the, I, I mean, it is not that much lower than the the other two for me. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's like if I had to choose one of the three that I wouldn't watch. But I mean, like I, I saw Temple of Doom in, in the theater when that come out, 80, 85. And like it, it was it was oh, it was, a, it was scary. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, you know, when I when I saw the Indiana Jones movies originally, um, you know, I, I remember me and uh me and my mom got you. You could you could buy them like at, at McDonald's <laughs> for some reason. Do you remember that? No. Like that you could you could like like and me and my mom like got like all three of them at McDonald's uh, on VHS for my dad for for his birthday or Christmas or something. And. Uh, I remember watching them, but I remember nothing about them. Uh, and for, you know, for a long time, like I, I hadn't revisited them. Oh, wow. Is that one hit kill or something? Um, and, uh, oh, so anyway, like Temple of Doom was the only one that like, made an impression like, oh, I remembered like the scene at the dining table and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that was, that, that, that made them, man, I'm doing bad. And it made an impression at the time, that, you know, like that, that made a big but, impression, but, but anyway, the, like, so. The thing that gets me now in it is like when the bugs go like behind, like upper, like when she has to reach into that thing, into that hole to like stop the ceiling from coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bugs like go up behind her hair and everything. <laughs> like that is the part that I still think about. <laughs> but uh anyway, I remember like I, I just like never thought like as a kid, like what is Indiana Jones? Like what is what does he do? Like he was just action movie man to me. Like I didn't like I never like thought like oh like he's a he's an archaeologist he's he's a, a college professor like these I, I think that's the coolest part about well, that is but like it is what i mean I, I mean i'm talking i was like you know watching these movies when i'm like six seven or eight you know i, and I mm -hmm. just like never thought about what he was man this this, this, this world's tough it looks like gemini man stage um uh, anyway, so it was years later in middle school or high school, I guess. 
uh, one of those, you know, live in Delaware near a lot of like colonial America sites and stuff. And I remember we went on a field trip to, I guess it was maybe Jamestown or Williamsburg or one of those. I think it was, mm -hmm. maybe it was Williamsburg. I forget exactly. I've lived both those places. <laughs> but not, not. That yeah, I know, I know. Not that Williamsburg <laughs> or yeah, Jamestown. Or Jamestown. I, that's why I think it was just funny. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> uh, I, I remember, you know, the you know the person who uh, was working there like played a you know a clip from you know, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark as like, well, you know. Archaeology's not like this. And I'm like, wait, Indiana, Indiana Jones is an archaeologist? I guess that's cool. I didn't know that. And so, like, you know, after that, like, you know, I went home and I, I watched the movies again. And I was just like, I could not believe how good Raiders of the Lost Ark was. Like, I mean, this is revisiting for the, like, I remembered nothing about it other than like, mm -hmm. you know, the opening boulder. Like that was, that was it. That was all I remembered. And I was just like, I, I, I was just in utter disbelief at how good it was. <laughs> like I had a similar, I had a similar situation with Ghostbusters, you know, going back to it after having seen it as a kid, you know, Back to the Future was the same way. Like I just, I saw them as a kid, remembered very little, like in my head, you know, as you're a teenager, like certain things that you liked as you're a kid, you're like, oh, it's probably not that cool anymore. And then like you, you like discover that it actually, oh yeah, actually it is that cool. And it's even better than you like ever realized as a kid. Like I, I definitely had that experience with all of those movies. Yeah. Uh, there was a $5. Oh, uh, there's $5 from EB Chill 2. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Saying, uh, it's funny. Indiana Jones lost every treasure he's ever found. Have a great week. <laughs> Is that funny? I, I think that's like one of the things I like about it. Like he, he, he learns that like, maybe there's a reason that this, you it know, belongs in the music. lost or, sh or shouldn't be found. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, there's also five dollars from Sam Bam. Thank you. Saying uh, thanks for the heads up on the DE10 nano boards. Bought a bunch of stuff from Mr. Addons and anxiously await the, the coming uh, Mr. episode. I, 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 uh, so I, I, I can't. I, how, how, are you like super excited about all the comments that are going to be like, well, it doesn't even matter because you can't buy it right now. Yeah. You can't buy it. So like, well, it's, like, like there are so many people. Like everything you show in a video, if it is not available the second they see that video then it doesn't matter now and it never will it doesn't matter because i can't buy it exactly when i want it and the thing is is that in that moment like those people probably wouldn't buy it right at that moment no they wouldn't they're just like they're looking for an excuse to not be interested yeah um But it's it's funny because, I mean, I well, I guess it's not funny, but you know, like I had the first like the first like ten minutes, like edited previously, and my like pricing for the DE10, where I talk about it, and it's like it says around one hundred and seventy dollars, which was already an increase from that was like an. October or something like that. So that was already an increase from what when it originally was at. And now it's like 200 like before shipping. So it's just really funny that I mean I guess it's not funny. It is not funny. But I mean I mean just it, getting the DE10 is like, like how it's continued to to go up, you know. I mean just getting the DE10 is crazy. like the cost of an analog system now. Yeah. Including shipping. Yeah. Uh, there's also uh, five dollars from Tenderbrew. Thank you. Uh, saying, "Hey, dudes, have a good night. Love the stream tonight. Looking forward to the next marathon video. They really help 
uh, on the work from home life. Well, that's good. Thank you for for watching that. Yeah, that, I mean, that there's, there's most people that like them, a lot of like people that don't. But that I most think most recent that video is doing like really them, well. <laughs> yeah, the people that like them, they they understand that it's not meant to be like, you know, like it. It is. It is exactly what it is. Well, you know, you know it's, someone like someone it's, left a comment that was like, you know, you know, a month and it this this is what you come up with. It took you a month to put these together. It's like, well, no, it actually is taking more than a month to put together the next video. So that's why. Yeah. We do something that doesn't take time. So, and that's that's kind of the thing. I mean, and that that same commenter like never comments on any videos but only, like every year comments <laughs> on like whatever video we release the first video we release of the year it's like i was really hoping for a return to greatness for this channel <laughs> well but he, he did he did change his tune when i responded you know he's like oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah i i I, I, I'm seeing like, this from the outside, you know. Like, like that, like that person has only responded to, or has only commented to say that, like, only time this person comments is one time a year to tell us that we're not as good as we used to be. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> like that is, that is it. So. That that's that. <laughs> that that is that. I'm gonna fill up my water and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Alrighty. A little better now that I, I I I don't think I was prepared for the difficulty of this world, but now that I've kind of adjusted my expectations, doing a little better. I wonder if this is like similar to the hard mode in terms of difficulty. Was Mina good? Yeah, it was good. It was actually a pretty meaty demo. I mean, I spent like around an hour on it. It was harder than I expected too, which is, which is which I, I think is good. Don't want don't want to run through it too quickly. The boss wasn't that tough though. Like, I, I got through Shovel Knight pretty darn quick, you know, the day it came out. You know, of course, I was recording the footage for the, the How to Beat episode while I was playing it for the first time. That, that was the great thing about those How to Beat episodes was, like, like the tips didn't actually have to be good. So, like, it, it was just whatever I recorded the first time and, like, you know, whatever got me through the fight. Like, that was my hot tip. You know, it was not like based on, you know, multiple playthroughs or, you know, really figuring out the best strategy or anything. It's just whatever worked. <laughs> like, it did not, I mean, that was, that was the beauty of it. it didn't, they didn't have to be good tips. <laughs> I mean, gosh, you know, it's so funny to think that, you know, we did the the Dark Souls 2 one. And I, I remember, like, nothing about that game. I, you know, I, I guess I never realized that spikes are one-hit kills. Were there, were there spikes in the, the regular game? I guess there were. Or at least I don't remember them killing me in one hit. Mm, 
Wish I could get more stars this far into the level. Checkpoint is not always that helpful. My thoughts on Infernax. Uh, which one was that? Was that was that the one where I said like I saw a trailer for it and like I have this thing where I like I'm sort of turned off by NES styled games that uh, like are gory. Like I have no problem with gory video games, but it's just like it feels dishonest for the, the era that they're trying to, you know, pay homage to, to have like super gruesome and gory. Ugh, I died the same way. Like I, I'm trying to do the flip as, while I'm jumping. I did order an NES styled game on, uh, uh, limited run the other day though uh i can't remember what it's called though but it looks good like you control like these three different characters like kind of kind of look look like may maybe had a bit of uh lost vikings or trine in it three different characters with different abilities yeah i i have that collection of trying one through four but i've still only ever played the first two games i think i played them both on ps3 excuse me or maybe so I, is maybe the uh the second on ps4 i don't are you talking about the were you talking about infernax yeah is that is that the one we talked about a few weeks ago and i was like i was like yeah, yeah. you're like oh, it doesn't seem very faithful but. yeah well i mean it's just i i i i'm i'm bugged for whatever reason by like NES era games like man doing bad all of a sudden I, I I like I don't know I just for some reason I'm bugged by NES era games like trying to be like super gross or violent looking like it's just it doesn't it feels dishonest I mean, it looked, it looked okay, but it's just like, I see so many games like that anyway, you know? It's just like, I don't know, it, it just, something about it just didn't, didn't interest me that much. Like, I'm more, more interested in a, I don't know, some other kind of homage, I guess, for some reason. But what, what was that game that Limited Run had recently? I, I... The NES style one where the three characters, that one I thought looked cool, but I, I can't. Oh I yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought um, it, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah, and it, it it wasn't even through it wasn't even through them. I think. Oh, it was just a distributed game. I think so. Yeah. I ordered several things. I keep dying in the same spots. I think I ordered several things on that order, so I I might not be seeing it for a while. Um, uh, there is a uh, five dollars from Andy sixty four. Thank oh, you. Thank you. And uh, hey guys, do you think we'll ever see analog sixty four someday? Uh, Kevin said that the complexity is way higher than the SN. Yeah, I, I um, believe the biggest problem with N sixty four is the type of RAM used. Mm. It's not expected to really be possible on Mister either, in part for RAM issues, but also because like the the CPU on the N64 is extremely complex. I mean, you know, I, I know people debate a lot whether you know, oh, you know, you know, they prefer the PlayStation look over the N64 look. But on a technical level, the N64 was doing much more. Whether you like the look or not of N64, it was doing much more complex, much more advanced stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, emulating it is. Uh, uh, not trivial, you know, hardware or software. Um, so it's, 
you know, I, I you know, the the PS One CPU from what 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 we've been told uh, uses like almost. Uh, I, it is so hard for me to do that jump. Like, oh man, if I continue, am I still on level three? Okay. Um. Uh, like from what what we've been ta hearing talking to people doing the Mr. V, like the PS One CPU takes up almost all of the Cyclone Five. Yeah, like almost all of it, and the N sixty four CPU is you know that much more complex. Um, and I guess the reason that uh. The dual RAM is needed is not because I mean obviously PS One doesn't have that much RAM. It's because of the sheer bandwidth that PS One uses. It uses a lot of memory bandwidth. And so, you know, the uh, the PS One core on the Mister is is going to be playable with the uh, with one with one, but one, they're 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 piece of RAM. There but. will audio won't be as accurate, but we don't know yet like how noticeable the inaccuracies will be right i mean in my experience i, I haven't updated my version of it in a few weeks i mean it's, it's probably changed since then but i uh you know i i've de like audio like does not work in s some games that i i test but like i People are people seem optimistic, like oh, like the the type of inaccuracy that it's going to manifest is like most likely not going to be noticeable. But like, I mean, I guess it's something that you know, if, if there could be an MD Fourier for PS One, that kind of thing would probably yeah pick up on it. But it sounds like for the most, it, it's expected, I guess, or at least hoped optimistically yeah. it's not really going to be a noticeable sort of in audio inaccuracy but it's all going to be about audio it's going to have nothing to do with you know graphics rendering or gameplay or anything it's all going to yeah. be about audio that's that's the only reason that the dual ram is but but i kind of said in my sort of ps1 preview bit that like i mean if PS One is a core that you think you will will like be a big draw for you, then you know I would you know I, I would recommend keeping that in mind when you you know look into what kind of uh, I/O yeah. board. You're, you're well, yeah, and not only that, but I mean, just because you get a digital I/O board doesn't mean you can't do analog. You just can't do both at the same time. You just can't do both and, at the same time. Yeah. And that's like that, that might be like a real bummer. Like that is a real bummer. And I'm not even sure if like any of the, just, okay. the expanded that, that's worth taking the hit. IO boards can even change that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, uh, who is someone? Someone? Yeah. Uh, oh, Scepter Sever is saying like, what is the next gen FPGA? I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, that, 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 it's, it's I, like, I think this, it, this like the the D10 is like not going to be swapped out for anything. Well, I mean, I think I think that's. That. I think that's something that a lot of people are maybe. Oh, there you go. It was all only those levels. That wasn't so bad. Um, I mean, I, I I think people who haven't bought into it yet like have this feeling like, oh, as soon as I buy it, there's going to be something better. And I do not think that's going to be the case. Like it's it's going to be a while before people are really developing for something that is intended to be more powerful because I mean, you know, there has to be some sort of industry built around this. There has to be people making Ram sticks and IO boards like Mr. Add-ons does and like, you know, like the Jamex and stuff like that. Like, yeah. like if, if it's not affordable, then there's not going to be able to be that kind of business built around it to where you can yes. buy these things. You won't be able to buy them, you know? So like it's, it's going to be based around that for a while because like, it's just, and, and I don't even know, like other than N64, like what another like marginally more powerful FPGA would even do. Like, like is getting powerful enough for N64 going to get you powerful enough for Dreamcast? Probably not. 
Like, I mean, I don't right. think we're going to be looking at like now the, PS2. the jumps are much more. I don't think we're going to be looking at PS2 level stuff on FPGA. For, I mean, I, I'm saying this is like, you know, total armchair observer. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, but given the scale of power that we're talking about and the availability of, of parts and affordability of, of the components, I just don't think we're going to be looking at a major jump beyond uh, what we can do now uh, or what we will be able to do once PS1 and Saturn are running uh yeah. Uh, released and running. I don't think we're going. I mean, just the fact that those two are going to be on that on it is like insane. Really. Yeah, it is insane. And and I and it's it's not like okay, once we reach this point, it's like well, what's the the next FPGA? Like, and the thing is, like, even if Mister like Mister will no doubt uh, be built around a more powerful FPGA someday. But I think that the existing version of Mister is going yes. to continue to be a part of that like they're not going well, to like like the cores that work on it now are going to work on the new one and i don't think yeah, they're going and just to just be improved upon you know like like yeah like that's kind of the cool thing that's happening right I mean, now is like, as it like is a lot of the hard work is being done right now right as it is you know here i am looking to build a second mister Corey has a second i think you have a second mister yeah, uh too. Yeah. you know sean quinn was building a second i mean lots of people are even building second misters they're useful they're very useful and handy things. That's why we want two. So if you get a Mister now, and then like in five, ten years, there's a more powerful version of Mister. Like your old Mister is still going to be useful for playing Neo Geo and whatever. Like still really powerful yeah. stuff. You know. Yeah. So it's still going to be useful. Like like there are, there's good uses for having more than one Mister. I wouldn't and, 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 I wouldn't hold least. out for fear of something better coming around the corner. Yeah. At the very Super least, there's cool. like a really like a small, convenient thing to take Super on a trip with you, or something like that. What, like if you want to play something on a TV on the road, you don't want to like, bring a system. Like you can bring this little, you know, tiny little box essentially, and just like plug it into whatever TV you got. I mean, it's I love how portable it is in terms of. Oh yeah, it's it's very like the port of the the how. How? Oh, weird. Oh yeah, yeah, the OSSC Pro. I understand this interface. Like how? I I don't know why it's like so hard to select the the one that I want. Okay, what's the super? Yeah. Pro? Did that the sand rubbish thing. I would. I have one, but I would love a Mister. See, I like. I am slowly starting to realize that I think that my opportunity for getting a uh Astro City is like is like closed I, I I sort of feel like okay so hard mode appears to be just the same levels but probably harder in some ways so I mean it wouldn't take me long to do that someday if I want to but I'll uh I'm gonna mark this beat on my backloggery and I'll do I'll do hard mode someday heck yeah should I uh, should I I pick something? Yeah, something I've I've never booted up before. Sure. Uh, yeah. There is a dollar ninety nine from uh, Joe, Joe Falchek. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, saying, hey guys, what's a reputable place to buy a DE ten nano? You can buy them directly like, from Terrasic or Trassic. I don't know how you. Say I was, I say Terrasic. I don't know if that's like yeah. the right way to say it or not. Like I think Jurassic Jurassic sounds better than Terrasic. Yeah, uh, I say Jurassic. You know, it's like Tur Jurassic Park. <laughs> uh, um, I keep on spilling this water on my like. Like it keeps on like spilling on my face. I, I dropped this cup, okay? So I was like I dropped this cup totally full of water. This thing is enormous and it just like went everywhere all over the floor. Oh my here. gosh. And uh I think it, it dented it. So like now when I try to drink it, like some comes out from like the the seal. 
But yeah, what is it? Just uh, T T E R A S I C. It, it ships from Taiwan, and the shipping is really expensive. But you're not going to yeah. get it for a better deal, or really get it at all from anywhere else right now, as far as right I now, know. Yeah. Um, like the shipping's like, the shipping like forty dollars, like yeah, 50 bucks. yeah. But I'm actually thinking about getting getting a game one myself soon, anyway. So I'm, I might do it. Um, uh, let's see what what should I what should I grab? I'm going to look at my most recently added games and see what can I add. Does you know, have to be uh, Drum and I played a uh, Turrican. Uh, I, I saw that. Yeah, like the 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 uh, the Amiga Turrican, and it was uh, it was. Uh, you play you played the Amiga version, or well, you it play was it, it was on. Like, I played it. He played it emulate. You can you can da- so it's weird. You can download the ROMs from Factor 5's website, like for Turrican mm-hmm. One and Two. But in at least in the emulator he was using, he couldn't like he couldn't progress past stage two. Like it just locked up and loading from stage two to three. Oh, wow. And I don't know if it's like a floppy disk swapping thing or something, but he had to get like a, a version compiled in a different way to run on his emulator. But, um, but anyway, I, I played flashback. Um, and it was, it was good. Like I, I, I have been very skeptical of European running guns. <laughs> Like yeah, there there you know there's there's a vibe to them that's like mm, I'm unsure, uh, mm-hmm. and but like digging into Turrican one, I, I I liked it more than more than I thought I would. It was it was actually pretty good, so I'm I'm looking forward to doing the others. We're going to we we you know we've moved on from the year of the caveman. We've determined that this is now the year of the spaceman. <laughs> 2022 is the year of the spaceman and. Uh, we're going to, we're, we, we were going to, we, we ended up not doing it this past month. We did Turrican instead, but we're, we're going to do it soon. We're going to co-op Halo one. Really? Yeah. We're going to do when, it. That, wait, tomorrow? Uh, we were going to do it tomorrow. Um, but we're, we're, but, uh, Lynn, Lynn decided she wanted to come for the stream tomorrow. So we're going to play crystal beans, uh, for Super Famicom, which is like a, it's like a, it's, I think it's part of the Dungeon Explorer series. Like Dungeon Explorer, yeah, like the, on the, PC the Engine. Dungeon Explorer, Crystal Beans. It's called Crystal Beans. So th- that's, that's a multi-tap game for Super Nintendo. We're going to, we're going to play that. But anyway, uh, no, we're going we're going to do it maybe the next week or soon anyway. So yeah, we're we're going you know, your space man is going to be like Turrican, Halo, um, Blaster Master Zero Three. We'll we'll come up with lots of more, lots more. Yeah, I, 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 the space man is not as distinctly video game of a character as the caveman. Though. <laughs> no. No, but like I, I still, I still, I still like the idea that we've we've come up with some dumb theme. All right. Anyway, I just thought I, I thought of that when I was. That's cool though. Because I, I, uh, you were kind of contemplating just like playing through the first Halo yourself. I was, yeah, yeah. But but, but know, drum was I, like, I, you know, we could go off that, and I was like, well, okay. <laughs> you should. Are you going to play the original? Or are we're you gonna going play, to play? I'm pretty sure we're going to play Master Chief Collection because it sounds like. Yeah, oh yeah. It sounds like it's as of very recently, as of the past year, less than a year, finally, that version of Halo 1 is considered highly recommended. Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I'm under the I, impression I there's nothing. I planted that one with my son. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's good by your like reckoning as well, right? What's that? It's good by your reckoning as well, right? Yeah. And, and you can switch back and forth to like look at the, uh, original graphics if you want to mm-hmm, mm-hmm. while you play and i don't know like i i think that in some ways like the original version looks better like i i like the uh the use of color mm-hmm. a bit more it's a lot more purple uh but man i don't i th- th- this is this is no- nothing's jumping to mind as i'm looking through that i'm just gonna go go look at my shelf and get something yeah Grab something. Some, something I've never booted before. Do it. So, chat, what do you think that tries? Do you think he's going to like Halo? I have, I really have no idea. 
He's he's never he's never played any games in the series. And I wonder if it's going to have any kind of any, any kind of impact on him at all. I think that I think it's just going to be like, yeah, this is yes, it's all right. Um, but I mean, it, it'll be, it'll be interesting because I, I felt like that was the first time I had played a console game that felt, it just like felt really good playing it with that controller too, with just like a dual analog controller. It just clicked for me. I, I think that his tolerance is very high. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, twenty years on, it's hard to say. <laughs> he's, he's gonna say it's okay, and then go on a long diatribe, hot take about this and that, about whatever of the game. I, you know, it uh, if if he continues playing them, I will be interested to see if he ends up liking the three four three games more than the the bungee games because i i think i talked about it previously and because i was kind of like iffy on infinite and after i finished infinite i went back and played reach and just and loved it and it just it just made me realize like how much more i like the the bungee developed games than the three because after i finished reach then i jumped into to, to four and I just didn't really I didn't like how it felt all right but I mean I even getting some distance on it like I, I feel that like infinite is really it's it's really a mess <laughs> you know there's just like the, the whole like last like 30 percent of the game is like the same room repeated over and over again and it's just like the only thing that changes about it is the size so i I have no idea how this is going to go (laughs) um it was four ninety nine from uh, Brian Kinney saying it's honestly hard to recreate the feeling of the dawn of the two thousands at this at this point in time. Best I can I can say is to enjoy the nod to James Ca- uh, Cameron's Oops. Aliens. That's true. That's true. I you know I think if you if you go into it, oh, <laughs> I have no. What is this? I, I like I like how there's like no. No title screen here. I, I can't. I still it don't creates know what it an is. aura of mystery. Oh, is this that fist game? It is. How, how, that was a good guess. How'd you guess that? I just noticed from the rabbit character. Like, I don't really know anything. Where do you about see a rabbit? Except for that I. Oh, I can barely see him. He's like so small there. <laughs> uh. So I I got this when uh, uh, when uh, Alex from Digital Foundry did like an in depth uh, uh, video on the PC version of this, and uh, oh wait, load game. And I thought this looks really cool. Like, is there a console version? And there's yeah, I'm kind of curious about this. I don't th- this is this is an Asia physical. Interesting. And you play as this awesome looking rabbit with a jetpack. With a giant fist. <laughs> oh really? So the uh, well, I mean that's why it's called called fist. Like you upgrade this fist thing is your like main weapon or something but uh it looks pretty cool but uh <laughs> alex in the video he kept calling it 
fist forged in shadow torch like as if forged in shadow torch is the subtitle <laughs> yeah well like, just because it this. maybe it's just like the, well, so, it really so. adds to the length of a video if you say the uh, full name of of a game right, every so time you, you mention it i you know i Asia, like this is the age of physical right so it says this and underneath it says forge the shadow torch right right you look at the spine it's like a, it just slips right through there that was lucky it, you see this on the spine it just says forge the shadow torch and then underneath it says this it does not say forged forged in shadow torch it just says fist. So I think the Forged and Shadow Torch subtext on the cover is just indicating what the, uh, you know, what F-I-S-T stands for. Forged and Shadow Torch, whatever that even means. Uh, so, like, I like I just, I add the game is just F there period, he is. I period. Is that him or is that the bad guy? He looked like a bad guy. Oh, wait, what? Ha oh, ma wait, maybe that is. No, I don't think that's me. The the that FMV video was encoded with the wrong birthday, black Ray. levels. Want to have a drink together? <laughs> oh, yeah, I could, yeah, you see it at the end there and, and at the beginning. Yeah. Here you go. Two bowls of longevity noodles. Eat it while it's hot. It's like it would be funny if like every single character in this game was a different animal, different type of animal. I'm not in the mood. I mean, there's at least two rabbits. Yeah, that's true. I'll I'll mash through this because I just want to see some gameplay. I was finally able to fix your fit. I mean, it looks like a good-looking game. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why Alex did a video. I mean, it was it was a sponsored video. I guess the publisher. What's going on? I want, want them to do an in-depth look at the PC version, which I guess has like a lot of ray tracing and, been and stuff going on. The Iron Dogs just came to the noodle. This was Urso's, but I hid it for him. This it's like a more realistic looking Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, well, it's I, I guess it's a Metroidvania. And like I, I'm kind of like, like I, I hate to say it, but like Parvi is like, oh, I wonder what if what if I end up liking it more than. Uh, what if I end up, up liking it more than uh, Metroid Dread? Metroid. Like I don't I don't know. What if I do? Who knows? But Asteris is very shadow complex like that. That's what came to my mind as well. Joe's saying the spine had the full name. I don't think so. <laughs> you have this, Joe? Is is my is my vision becoming? Am I becoming that much of an old man? <laughs> Oh, here, here comes the fist. Is that it right there? It is not on the spine. I And as far as I know, I don't know if there's another physical version other than this Asia, this Asia oh, version. Oh, is it like 2.5D? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's a Metroid, Metroid, yeah, Metroidvania, yeah. supposedly. Looks like the D-pad does not, but you see, unlike Metroid, you have variable movement speed. This is Old Town. Torch Tower is to the northeast. Look, look, see, look at this, like, this, this like, like, like giant like, fits on my back like Trogdor or something. <laughs> you dare wander about during curfew, buddy? Get him! That seems kind of cool. Oh, look at that light. That's awesome. I, I, I like Shadow Complex, although it's been a long time since I've, I've played through it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I like I, I want to keep playing Metroidvania games, even though I feel burnt out on them. Like, you know, every once in a while you play one that's great. And like, I had a good feeling about this one when I watched that video. So I was like, if there's a physical of this, I'm going to buy it. And so I did. I think it's I think this is Unreal 4. There is a PS4 version as well. I don't. I don't know what the concessions are. Oh, what did it, what did it say? I, I, I missed the tutorial. Press circle while facing the enemy to throw the enemy forward. Interesting, but it's it's unique in that, at least 
it's interesting that there's it's all like melee based. I mean, I don't know if it will remain. I'm, that. I'm sure it's not for the entire game, but like. It seems at first, at least, that, it, that it's, it's focused on that being your primary means of attack. Yeah. Oh, that's where the uh, the title screen was. Oh. Recognize the hippo. Hold X to jump even higher. The. For, for some reason, like the, like sort of the dystopian vibe makes me think of that Strider game that you played a little of last week. You mean Strider? Yeah. <laughs> that Strider game. <laughs> what was it, 2011 or something? That came uh, out? It came out like after the, the PS4 was out. PS4 come out in 2013. Uh, yeah. Wii U was 2012. I think that that all games need to have Motor Storm-esque ragdoll physics. <laughs> and did you play any more of it? No, but I've been thinking about it. I've been I've been just thinking about the game constantly. These lights are I like I went back and watched the crashes like from the stream. Are these lights not like the coolest thing ever? That's it is pretty cool, I got to say. <laughs> That's amazing. It's such a simple thing and you can kind of see the reflections on the ceiling. Yeah. Too. Why? Why do we have to guard this broken broken transformer? Uh, Scott Davis is pretty excited about your your Trogdor reference. <laughs> Sing Burn it 80, the countryside. Burn it 80, the peasants. Burn it 80, all the peoples. And their thatched roof cottages. Thatched roof cottages. You've, you've gone somewhere that I cannot follow. <laughs> Transformers. What did Urso get up to? Wall jump. Huh? Ooh, wall jump. Oh, interesting. I wonder, can you just like, can you perpetually go up it like Mega Man style? Oh yeah, it looks like it. Missing That's that surprising area. because it looks like the tracking. It that seems that like could break Metroidvania design very into easily. Urso. Right into Urso. Like you'd have to design yeah. around that. Well, in getting that so early. Yeah. Well, obviously, I guess that. I need to get to tort. I, I I guess they did that so that. Yeah, there's like no, like you don't lose any hide at all. So that's, that's cool. Oh, Joe Falchuk got, got, got his order in. Oh. The 10 with Jurassic. Oh, nice. Oh, you got a little dash too. I, I like when you. Like when you do the the heavy attack in the air, like you have this really satisfying sort of hang there. Uh, I don't know if Joe is still in the chat, but I was watching some of his uh, Evercade thing, and I, I had no idea that they had got rid of the the uh, the blurring oh. filter. And that's like that is that's pretty exciting. And, and it's really strange that that seems to improve the frame rate in some games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's a pleasant surprise. I'm glad that they did that. And, uh, like... I know you were saying that, like... Oh, I don't know if you had finished... If he had finished his video, and then they came out with the update, and he had to back and change some stuff.
But yeah, I mean, after that, like I mine up and then updated it and then booted up um, alligator. Uh, what's it called? Alligator. What's the second word? Alligator hunt. Alligator hunt. Yes. I I but was I was surprised was Joe did not talk about it <laughs> all that long. Like. Well, it melted our faces off. Yeah, I mean, we 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 we're pretty excited about it. But we're easy to please. <laughs> like, oh, I'm I'm easy to please. If I'm easy to please and I have low standards. You know, someone I I I I really wish I knew what they were like commenting on. In particular, someone left a comment on the games we played in 2019, saying Try is such a snob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, I don't know. I feel also, like I'm. I feel like I'm pretty easy going. Like I. It, like it doesn't. Doesn't take a lot for me to like a game generally. <laughs> um. What was the one that I thought was super funny today? Was it was it was a uh, comment on the the uh, the the Blaster Master book. Uh. Video that I did. Oh yeah, like, like 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 six six or like seven years ago. Yeah, and it's like not to correct you or anything, but and then it like has this huge paragraph of like story related things, and I don't even know if these this is like story related things that were it could even, have come up in Blaster it, Master Zero. It might not have even right, existed. Right, right. I'm wondering if that stuff is from Blaster Master Zero. I mean, Blaster Master Zero definitely the number of dog patrols has increased. Like. Torch Tower can't be has used now. the book lore. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like I'm wondering if, if like I mean, because those games hadn't even come out yet. And yeah, you know, like it, it, it seems really, really in depth to like have been a thing at before the time. Blaster Master Zero. Yeah, well, all that he explained. Yeah. The North I mean, but you know the the like, like NT create like hardcore NT creates fans are like super into the lore of like all their games. Like yeah, you know, like and like honestly, that's like part of the reason that I don't really care for. Uh, I don't really care for. Um, uh, Gun vault, the gun vault and luminous avenger series and all that kind of, like i just like i'm just i'm over i'm not i'm not going to try to play any more of those and let like i've never played mighty gun vault like i don't know if that's like mm -hmm. I, I remember the trailer i was looking at, i was like this just looks too it looks like he's trying to do too much for you know an nes style game like it looked too complex for what i was looking for in that style of game and like I just I the the mechanic and like and there's just been so much time on the characters and story and blah 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 like like I you know I, I'm all for good story and games but like I just like I don't I don't in this context I do not care. <laughs> yeah. You know like it's you know it's just I, I'm just I'm done with those games. But people, you know, more power to you. You know, it's it's good to like things. You you play through Blaster Master. Zero. Oh, I like I like zero. I like. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm just I'm like wanting like says uh, I'm just in reading this comment like there's a whole thing about like Kane Kane Gardner just help Kane Gardner defend their home. Yeah, Kane and Jennifer are from the same planet and fight off the invading in them Darkstar army led by Goas. Is that stuff that's like in the Zero games? I mean, there's like different planets in Zero Two, and there's like characters on those planets. Right, but I mean, like, I don't think those names it's, it's are not sounding to these. Is a Zero game, you know? It's like you I don't know, know. I don't know, but like four years before right. the Zero games came out. But like, regardless, like, in Indie Creates fans like love, love that stuff. Mm hmm. Like they're they they are way into the lore of of these games. Like even though like Blaster Master 
Like I've I've seen people like talk a lot about Blaster Master lore and like, you know, but like they're the same people that also love like, you know, Gunvolt and stuff. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. But I don't I'm know, maybe just... I'll respond to that afterwards. I'm just kind of curious to stay, see if like this is stuff that's been exp like is like has been created for the new the new games. Because especially since uh the uh this had way more of a story than the original games did in the play. Like there's no way that they had all this information I think in the first Well, I mean the... <sighs> Yeah, even mean, like the, even in the Japanese, even like, in the Japanese, I don't know instruction yeah. manual or something like that. I mean, the entire premise of the game is that you're just chasing after your frog. I mean, I don't know if Metafight has that aspect, right? What's this, this frog's name again? Fred? Fred. Fred. That's right. Responsible for hacking the terminal. I need to get my hands on the transformer. I always get Fred mixed up tower. with uh, the the fro from with uh, Willie Beamish's pet frog. And that 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 frog is named Horny. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. just right in that I fan. My hands on the transformer <laughs> drill to climb Torch Tower. <laughs> Better head back and find someone who knows where the drill is. Nope. You need to get, get your hands on the uh, the transformer drill. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. My kids have been watching this cartoon called Johnny Test, and it is like the most obnoxious show and I, it's it's been around for a long time i guess and like they're just like it's it's it is so obnoxious like like every single character like yells when they're talking like they're just like yelling all the time. and uh i was like they were they've been watching it a whole bunch and i'm like you guys gotta be almost done with this and they're like oh no there's there's 14 seasons what <laughs> I don't know if that's like Where accurate, but they told me that there's like that there's right. 14 seasons, and they're like, oh, we're there's 14 seasons. Of, we're on season four. <laughs> it it is. <laughs> Look at this flask of carrot juice. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But oh my god, like Johnny, Johnny Test, like so is so obnoxious fourteen seasons I mean that's <laughs> I mean I'm not sure if there's actually fourteen seasons but uh they told me that there's fourteen seasons and uh Tom Dryroid is saying it does have a lot of episodes especially with the revival <laughs> no <laughs> So they're just like still watching the original series. The original series has 14 seasons, and then the revival has nine seasons, probably. Because I, I don't, I feel like with shows like that, like seasons don't follow like typical like season length. There are 14 seasons. <laughs> Mega oh X6 gosh. just confirmed. There's 14 seasons. Uh,. So I guess I guess there really is. Like I don't think that I think that they sometimes like have two seasons a year. I mean I I cannot believe that Johnny Tess has been on for fourteen years or more. Well, I'm being being attacked by Soldier First Class. <laughs> is that what it's, it's called, Soldier First Class? No, I mean I'm. I mean, I'm just saying. He's got that big. All right, I don't know if I have any carrot juice. Oh, it looks like... What button was it? R2? 
<laughs> he like he like does this like big pause, like flips it open, drinks it. <laughs> Oh, so the episodes are 10 minutes each? Like, I don't know if that's more obnoxious, <laughs> if the episodes are 10 minutes long, because it all feels like one long, single episode. <laughs> like, the entire show is, like, one long episode. Imagine that. I'm, I'm imagining, I guess. <laughs> well, this seems pretty cool. I'm looking forward to playing through this. Yeah. A TTVP says the only. I feel the only reason Johnny Tess was for so long is that it's practically free to animate and voice. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's really like there's not much happening, but at, like literally everybody yells all the time. Hmm. Welp. Welp, is that is that gonna do it? I guess that will do it. Well, uh thank you to everybody who uh hung out and everybody who uh night. I hope everyone has a great week. Yeah. Who 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 won the big game? Uh, not Cincinnati. Oh, really? Hmm. No, I mean, it was close, though. I mean, Cincinnati was winning for, like, pretty good. Or for, like, most of the most of the game until, like, like the last two minutes, I think. Bummer. They were doing pretty good, but it is what it is. <laughs> well, anyway. Anyways, uh, good have a good night, everybody. One. Take care. See you next Sunday. We'll keep working on the Mr. Episode in the meantime. Mm hmm. Later.